All right, welcome to the Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We're here for the Region 1 contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. Heading into this game, Lisbon Broncos currently sit out with a record of 0-4 and the Enderlin Eagles coming off a two-win streak. Uh, their overall record sits right now at, at two and three. We'll go ahead, break away for a little word from our sponsors. We'll come back, go through our starting lineups and then kind of set the stage for our game tonight. So we'll uh, be back in about 30 seconds. Black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm the project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Here it's way more hands-on. The college has better equipment than the shop I'm at now. Like you name it, they got it. You get to use your tools and your hands a lot more. My name is Sean and I'm here for my future. First week of college, I can't tell you how many friends I've made. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like every time I go to a meeting, like everyone knows my name, they're always kind to me. I love it, I can't tell, I can't explain how much I love you here. My name is Junior and I'm here for my future. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon, North Dakota is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. River Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School the Gymnasium. This is sports announcer guy Brent Dick, and I am here at the Enderlin Bron or the Enderlin Eagles versus the Lisbon Broncos, known locally as the annual GOAT game. So coming into tonight's contest, the Lisbon Broncos currently sit at 0-4 overall and 0-2 in Region 1. And the uh, Enderlin, Enderlin Eagles currently sit at 2-3 and overall and 0-2 in Region 1. Lisbon's dropped... Uh, Four of their, their, their first four games of the season, opening up with Maple River, dropping that one by a score of 40 to 62. Played Lemoore over Lemoore, a district five full, uh, 47 to 62. Then had a home game against Napoleon, losing that one by a score of 29 to 59. And then another game uh, played against Sargent County, losing that one 31 to 51. Coming into this game, Enderlin's on a currently a two game win streak. They picked up wins on the 8th and 9th of December, uh, won 48 to 64 over Lamore Litchville, Marion, and then won 46 to 10 over Barnes County North. Uh, opening up their season, they did drop three games, losing one 31-63 to Central Cass, 50 to 74 to Sargent County, and 40 to 52 to Winemere Lidgerwood. And sitting overall, looking at region one, just across the, uh, across the region, region one standings right now, Kindred High School sitting overall at five and all with a region record of 2-0. Sargent County right now is 3-0. They're on a hot streak with a region record of 2-0. Central Cass currently overall 2-1, 2-0 in the region. Northern Cass 2-0 and 2-0 in the region. Maple River 1-1, 4-1 overall. And then Enderlin in Lisbon down there currently winless in the region. Tonight, big region contest between the Lisbon Broncos and Enderlin High School. Each team she, uh, Working for their first region win. Broncos working for their worst fin uh, first win in the season. And Enderlin High School trying to go up to the 500 mark, going three and three. So we'll go ahead and step away. We're going to do our national anthem. We'll get squared away for our national anthem. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors, and we'll come back for the opening tip-off and uh, lineups. 
Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinner, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. The Lisbon Bronco Athletic Boosters is a group of parents, coaches, and community members whose mission is to enrich the Lisbon High School Athletic community by providing financial support for Lisbon High School Athletic programs and events. If you are interested in getting involved, they invite you to join the Bronco Athletic Booster Group on Facebook to learn more. The Lisbon Athletic Boosters send a good luck wish to all athletes competing today. Folks, it's tax season, and the best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any... Finishing up our national anthem here in Lisbon, North Dakota at the LHS Gymnasium. You're listening and watching your live event.com. Getting ready for our annual GOAT game in the, uh, on the girls' side. We're going through our starting lineups for the home team, the Lisbon Broncos. So going over the starting lineup for Lisbon Broncos. Starting at guard is five foot ten junior number five Ella Tui. Starting in another guard position is five foot four junior number twenty Kaya Sweet. Starting at another at a forward position five foot ten junior number fourteen Kyra Heckerl. Uh, standing at five foot eight junior another forward number twenty one Kendra Differding. And starting at another forward position is five foot ten junior number twenty three Emerson Schultz. And looking over at the Enderland Eagles, their starting roster. Starting out with a guard is five foot two sophomore number two Michaela Wall. Another guard position five foot six sophomore number thirteen Aspen Schlecht. Another guard position five foot six junior number twenty Mackenzie Wall. Starting at forward five foot ten senior number five Genevieve Gruba. Another forward start, uh, standing five foot eight a senior number ten Rachel Bergstedt. So the, the starting lineups for the Enderland Eagles and the Lisbon Broncos. Just going back to the Region 1 standings. Like right now, Kindred sitting at 2 0 overall, 5 0. They're on top of Region 1. Lisbon sitting at 0 1 in the region, and Enderland High School at currently 0 2 in Region 1 and 2 and 3 overall. Uh, North Dakota, new North Dakota girls Class B basketball polls are out. As of today, number one is Kenmer Bowl Bills, receiving 11 first place votes. Number two is Kindred. Number three, Rugby. Number four, uh, Shiloh Christian. Number five is Mayport CG. Number six is Central Cass. Number seven, Thompson. Number eight, Northern Cass. Number nine is Central McLean. And then moving up in the, the uh, rankings for the first time year, this year is Carrington. The Carrington nudged out Edgy the Ellendale Comb on a head-to-head -head contest. They lost, uh, Comb ended up losing that one by a score of 57 to 71. So Comb drops out and Carrington moves into the top 10 uh, for uh, North Dakota Class B girls basketball. So get ready for the opening tip off. Looks like Kyra Heckerl and Gruba out there for Nenderland Eagles. And then our first quarter's underway. Tip off one by Heckerl. That goes over to Sweet. That rebound is by Gruba. Gruba dribbling down court. Mm 
just opening minute of this game, the annual GOAT game, both teams playing for that covered a trophy on the girls' side called Linlin. It was a jump ball, possession going over to Enderlin. Lisbon won the uh, opening tip off, so possession here goes over to, to the Eagles. So that passes out to Wall. And Wall gets it over to Schleck. Schleck driving in. Now she pushes back out to Wall. Wall drives in out to Gruba. Gruba puts it up, short jumper. That's brought down, rebound to Tui, got a hand on it. It's going over to, Sh to Differding. So Differding is fouled. Still scoreless here at the 7.05 mark in the first quarter. So Mackenzie Wall picks up her first foul. So first team foul and first personal foul for Mackenzie Wall. Differding shot is up and just off the back of backside of the rim. Another free throw shot attempt. That one off the front of the rim. Rebound. It touched by Enderlin. And Gruber grabs it. Now bringing it down court. So Differding 0 for 2 on those free throws. The battle there for the ball. Now back, brought back in. That's two points on the board for the Enderlin Eagles. A little scramble, mad scramble here on the near side of the court. Enderlin puts it up for the first points of the game at the 630, 640 mark. Enderlin needs this one by a score of two to zero. Over to Schleck, Schleck drives in. That one off the front side, side of the rim. The defense by the Eagles, it's brought down by Sweet. The two of you inbound with it for the Bronco. That's over to Heckerl. Eagles in a full court press, and that's a good turnover by the Eagles. Turnover on the Broncos. Eagles pressured, put pressure on, on the inbounds. Broncos turn it over. Well, fans are still up on their feet on the home side of the court over there in the Bronco side of the court. That's in ball over the wall. That's knocked out by Sweet. Excuse me, that was pass was intended for Schlecht, and Sweet got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. So in bounds here by Gruba. Driving in his wall, gives it to Gruber. Gruber drives in, goes through the lane. She's fouled. Foul is either on Differding or Heckerl. So a foul is on Heckerl. Gruber just tried powering through the lane, up off the fingertips. She gets fouled for two shots. The first one on is good for for Gruba. Her first point of the game. Score is three to zero. Second shot is up off. Rolls out. Hecker with the rebound. So Grubo, one for two from the line. That pass from Differding to Hecker looks like it's last touch by Enderlin. So inbound by Tui. Looking in, well, that's different. Different thing. Gets it over to Heckerl. Nice move on the inside by Heckerl, but she misses. Goes back up and over the rim. Rebound by the Broncos. It's like Schultz picked up the rebound. Now over to Schultz. And six seconds on the shot clock. And that's tied up. Jump ball. So I believe that's Broncos ball. Score is three to zero. Broncos yet to get on the board. Two points by Wall for Enderlin. And one point for Gruba at the fr uh, from the free throw line. We have 5.32 to go in the first quarter. So Tui on the inbound. 
It'll be a new, new shot clock for the Broncos. Out to Heckerl, just a little bit too much on that pass. Gets away from Heckerl, now back over to Tui. Tui looking for a little bit of help. That goes to Dipperding. Dipperding drives in, up off her fingertips. Could have been a foul there. Nice rebound and shot put back up by Heckerl. Rolls back off the front of the limb, but she, out, off the front of the rim, but she gets two from the free throw line. So that's the second team foul on the Eagles. Heckel's first shot is up. A little bit too much off that. Her second shot is up, and that one's in. So Heckel on the board. They'll score three to one in favor of the Eagles. Lisbon right now is one, one for four from the free throw line. So pressed by the Broncos, it'll be foul on Heckerl. So that's Heckerl's second. That's her second personal foul for Heckerl. Lisbon's going to win that battle underneath. They got to keep Heckerl out of free throw trouble. Or out of, excuse me, out of foul trouble. That Gruba cuts by Heckerl and gets it down court. It's over to Schleck. Schleck puts it up from three. That's off the rim. Differding with the rebound. Dipperton gets it over to Sweet. A little bit of pressure by the Eagles. Has been able to move through that. Across the half court. Out over to Schultz. Schultz driving in. Going to look it up. Puts it up in the center of the lane. She's fouled. So that foul was on Bergstedt. So it would be Bergstedt's first personal foul. It's a third team foul. First shot up and no good for Schultz. A second shot, no good. Lisbon right now, one for six from the free throw line. Eagles with the rebound, moving it back down court. That pass gets away. A little bit too much on that from Wall. So a turnover for the Broncos. Four thirty-seven to go in the first quarter. Three to one. Omajo well, comes in the game for the Eagles. And Tui brings it across half court, looking for a little bit of help. She's going to hand it off, gives it to Sweet. Sweet looking to set up the play. Sweet gives it to Heckerl and Dipper Day. Dipper is going to drive in. He's going to put it up. Oh, she's foul blocked by Gruba. No harm, no foul there by Gruba. Gets all ball. He pushes it down the wall. Wall pushes it back out. Over to Gruba. Gruba's going to put it up from three. A little bit too much on that. Heckerl gets the rebound. A little bit of pressure now by the Eagles. Bringing it down court. Sweet. Able to break that full court press by the Eagles. At 3.45 to go in the first quarter. Schultz with the ball, looks for Heckerl. A lot of traffic inside the lane there. That, that pass is knocked out. Schultz maintains control of it, brings it in, driving in, good spin move by Schultz. She's fouled. So Schultz drives the lane, nice spin move. Gets fouled, she's shooting two from the line. That's on Gruba's, Gruba's second personal foul. So Gruba and Heckerl both have two fouls. First shot put up for Schultz is no good. Schultz now 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Second free throw is up, no good. Rolls out, Heckro with the good offensive rebound. It's tied up by the Eagles. Gets it to Differding. Now possession arrow goes over to the Eagles. It's in ball from Wall over to Schleck. Wall now taking it down. Good pressure by the Broncos. They 
able to break that press by the Broncos. Heckel goes down on the court momentarily. Groove is open. She puts it up from three off the front side of the rim. Last touch by the Eagles. Hustling over towards the ball was Majo. Majo got a hand on it, not able to save it. It inbounds into Schultz and all back to Tui. And Tui gets it over to Heckerl. Heckerl looking for some help. Goes to Sweep. Sweep looking for the pass before she caught the ball. Now it's over and back. So a turnover by the Broncos. Over and back turnover by the Broncos. Sweet was looking for the for the pass before she caught the ball and just took her eyes off it. Gets called for an over and back on the turnover. Let's put it by Wall. Wall for three. That's off. Rebound by the Broncos. Or to Tui. Tui gets it to Differding. Back to Tui. Heckerl and Schultz both underneath the basket for the Broncos. Now Tui driving the lane. She's going to put it up off her knee. It looked like Majo was able to swat that down. It swatted away, went off to his knee, out of bounds. So Eagles with the turnover. It's over to Majo. Majo gets it to Wall. Excuse me, up to Schlecht. Now to Gruba. Gruba drives the lane up and two points for Gruba. A little fast break opportunity. Enderlin is able to cut through that defense of the Broncos. Feeds it to Gruba. Gruba drives down. Near side on the baseline, puts it up for two points. So right now the score is five to one. We're gonna go and step away on this timeout for our own 30 second timeout. See OlsonCPA.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. Honesty, loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. All right, welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We're here for the Region 1 contest between Lisbon Broncos and the Eagles. After the timeout, Tui gets the inbound over to Heckerl. Heckerl over to Sweet. Sweet thinks about it and then backs out. That's to Tui. Tui is from three. Tui drains it, drains it from the top, from the top of the key, from the three-point mark. So that's three for Tui. It was tied up by Sweet. A minute 40 to go in the first quarter. And Broncos with the jump ball. Goes from Tui over to Heckerl. Heckerl going to drive in for the layup off the top of the backboard. A little bit too hard. Rolls off the front of the rim. Rebound by Gruba. It's like Schlecht is open underneath the basket. Gruber just couldn't get it out with pressure by the Broncos. That's put up by Wall. Wall drives in. It'll be two shots for Wall and not followed by Schultz. Schultz just had to put her body in front of that stop. Wall from driving to the basket. So that's a third team foul on the Broncos. First personal for Schultz. And Wall's first shot is up and in. Score in favor of the Eagles early on here in the first quarter. Second shot, up, rolls off, and then goes back in. The wall converts on a free throw. It looks like the two is driving here on the near side. And out of bounce line, and the ball hit the one out of bounce. So turnover by the Broncos, just a little error, mental error by Tui. Drive it into Schleck. Schleck gets it over to Gruba. The wall drives underneath. That's pushed out of bounds by Sweet. 
Law was looking for Schlecht on the far side. Far side next to the baseline, and that's knocked out of bounds by Sweet. Wall gets it out to Gruba. Excuse me, over to Majo. The Majo back to Wall. As Gruba over in the far corner, Gruba lets it fly from three point land. That's no good. Rebound by the Broncos. So Differding, when they're tough on the boards, had it momentarily and knocked away. And Sweet comes down, comes back with it. And Sweet gets tripped up, goes down. Over to Heckerl, now to Schultz. Down to 25 seconds now in the first quarter. Sweet puts it up in three points. That's off the back side of the rim. Rebound by Wall for Enderlin. The Enderlin will play. They press it down, wide open underneath. A little bit too much on that, so Broncos. Look for them to play for the last shot of this quarter. Right now, the score is 7-4 to four in favor of the Eagles. It's over to Heckerl. Heckerl gets it back to Tui. Sweet wasn't looking. Tui was looking for Sweet. She had her head down, running down the court. That's knocked out of bounds by Enderlin. So with 5.1 seconds to go in the first quarter. Lisbon's ball. Chance to put points up on the board at the end of the quarter for Lisbon. That's inbound to Heckerl. Heckerl loses it underneath the basket. It's knocked away. So at the end of the first quarter, it's seven to four in favor of the Eagles. We'll go ahead and step away for a 30 second timeout. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinner, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. Welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium for their Region 1 contest between the Enderlin Eagles, Lisbon Broncos. Right now, Enderlin's up in this one by a score of 7-4. The leading scorer for the Broncos is Tui, draining a three from the top of the key. Tui puts three up on the board. And then Kyra Heckerl putting one in from the free throw line for the Broncos, giving Broncos their four points. Mackenzie Wall for Enderlin Eagles leads all scorers right now with four points. Oh, Enderlin with a few subs in the game now, looking for some fresh legs for Enderlin. A rebound was by Heckerl, or stone away by Heckerl. She gets it over to Sweet. And back to Heckerl. Heckerl hands it off to Sweet. You got a foul there. So Differding looking to drive in, hand the ball off to Heckerl, and she's fouled. So fifth team foul by the Enderlin Eagles. And inbound pass, that's to, to Sweet. Sweet puts it up off the backside of the rim. Rebound by the Broncos. Offensive rebound for the Broncos. Schultz. Little layup off the fingertips. It's tied up underneath the basket. So that possession will go to the Broncos. Inbounds, gets it over to Heckerl. Looking underneath for Differding. Differding kicks it back out to Sweet. Sweet looking for three. She sets up and shoots. That's three. Going to be on the arc for Sweet. Kaya Sweet comes in, drains a three-point. Takes about three steps back from the three-point line. And 
And Gruba drives in, it's a turnover. Turns it over to the Broncos. We're tied up now, seven to seven. The opening minute and a half of the second quarter. Ooh. Ball intended for Sweet. Heckrow gets it. Sweet drives in off the front of the rim, rolls off. It's back out to Heckrow again. Another foul underneath the basket. So that looks like that's against Schleck. Maybe Sch Schleck's second personal foul, 16 foul for the Eagles. Ball out to Heckrow looking for Schultz. Schultz to Differding, a little bit too hard off the hands of Differding. Gruba driving down between the legs, goes up. Looking for Schleck. Schleck's going to drive in. Has a little bit of a screen set up. Puts it up off the backboard for two. So Schleck down the board for the Enderlin Eagles. Now four court press. That's knocked away. Then Heckrow's able to pick it up. The Broncos looking to break that press, and they're going to get called. They get a timeout by, by Coach Sweet. Why is he called a timeout? Broncos having a hard time breaking that press. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30-second timeout. That all students will learn, experience success, and be good citizens from elementary through high school. The school staff and community takes great pride in providing meaningful and innovative opportunities for our students who continue to maintain ACT scores above state and national averages. Watch your kids continue to grow within the Lisbon Public School District from the playing surface to the classroom. For more information, go online to LisbonPublicSchools.com. Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We're all tied up here in the second quarter, 546 mark in the second quarter. Broncos just calling a timeout to that full court press by the Eagles. This Coach Sweet calls a timeout. Lisbon right now led by Tui and Sweet, both green and three-pointers. And then Heckrell has another basket from the free throw line for the Broncos, giving them their seven points. And Mackenzie Wall leads the Eagles in scoring with four points, picking up a basket and then two free throws. That's the Sweet. Sweet feeds it under to Schultz. The Sweet's driving in, powers it off as Schultz goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Eagles. That's a Heckrell. Heckrell not able to get it. Fight with Gruba. And Heckrell wins that battle underneath. Comes up over the backside of Gruba. Puts it up and in for two points for Heckrell. So Heckrell now with three points. Turnover by the Broncos. Well, Lisbon's. Tied it up once again, nine to nine. A back and forth battle now between the Broncos and the Eagles. Gruba, nice Schultz. Schultz read that one all the way, going in for the layup. Left-handed layup for Schultz. Puts it up and in for two points for Schultz. The Broncos' first lead of the game, going up 11 to 9. Gruba's going to drive through. She's followed by Differding. So Differding picking up the foul. Her personal foul, first personal foul for Differding. That's four team fouls for the Broncos. The rebound by the Broncos, Cack passed out to Tui. And Tui double, de double team momentarily, then kicks it out to Heckrell. Now from Three-point line again is Sweet. Sweet drains it. She's about three steps, three or four steps behind that three-throw line, or the three-point line. She puts it in for three, so three more points for Sweet. Sweet now leading all scores with six points, two three-pointers for Sweet. Takes about two or three steps back from that three-point arc. Let's it fly. Gruba finds a lane, drives in. She puts it up and in for two. And is fouled on the shot. I think that's on Heckrell again. Heckrell, maybe Heckrell's third. 
No, oh, it follows on Differding, so that's her second personal on Differding. Right now I have Heckerl with two personals and Differding with two. A shot is up and in by Gruba. Yeah, Sweet with the ball, left-handed layup, puts it up a little bit too hard off the rim, rebound for Differding. Differding puts it back up. Excuse me, that was Tui. Tui lets it roll up and off her right hand, puts it up and in for the Broncos. Now 16 to 12. That shot put up from three-point land by Wall, rolls off the rim. Yeah, Wall really is searching for that rain from the three-point line, hasn't found it yet. That pass to Differding from Sweet to Differding. And Gruba has it. Gruba's gonna drive coast to coast for Gruba. She puts it up and in for Gruba. Now 16 to 14. And Gruba getting hot for the Enderlin Eagles. Broncos turn it over on the inbounds. That's over to Schleck. Schleck puts it up in three and she drains it from back behind the three point line. So both teams now letting it fly. In the LHS Gymnasium, score 17-16, back and forth battle between the Broncos and the Eagles. Differding looking for Tui. Tui back to Differding, a little bit of space there for Differding. Puts it up a little bit off the mark, goes off the side of the backboard. Inbound pass by Gruba, goes right to Heckerl. Heckerl puts it in for two. And both teams playing really loose now, or very loose. The baskets are following that good play by both teams here on the offensive side. Score now 18 to 17 in favor of the Broncos. Now from the three point line, that's up off the backside of the rim. Good pressure, good pressure by Wall. She's gonna tie it up. So possession goes over to the Eagles. So Wall with a good heads up play for the Eagles, ties it up underneath the basket. The possession arrow goes to the Bron or it goes to the Eagles. Gruba thinks about it. Gets over to Majin, all back to Gruba. Over to Wall, Wall's gonna drive in, has a lane, but Gruba puts it up and in underneath. Took that last step a little bit too far before she put it up. That's a turnover by the Eagles. So Tui looking to inbound it. It's sweet. Sweet and Tui not on the same page on that inbounds pass. Tui's looking to hit Sweet open running down the court. And Sweet just ended up stepping back towards the Enderland basket. The last touch by the Eagles on that scramble. Sweet will inbound, it gets to Heckerl, Heckerl underneath and battles Wall, puts it up. Goes off the front side of the rim, now Schultz. Schultz in a mad scramble, ball goes out of bounds on the far side. Last touch by the, uh, by the Broncos. And back and forth battle since about midway through that first quarter between the Eagles and the Broncos. Playing the annual GOAT game. Winner of this takes home the coveted trophy, Lin Lin. That put up for Gruba from three. So Gruba puts it up and in for three. Over to Schultz, Schultz looking for her three, puts it up off the front side of the rim. Heckerl with the rebound, puts it up, she's fouled. They might be on Gruba. Oh, it's on 20, so that's on Wall. So McKenzie, McKenzie Wall called with the foul underneath the bucket. It's her second personal, seven team fouls by the Eagles. Heckerl puts her first going up. Puts a lot of arc on the ball and just hitting the back side of the rim right now. Your second shot, no good. Two shots 
The charity stripe for Heckroll can't convert. A rebound by the Broncos. It's out to Sweet. Sweet from three. I think she's behind that three-point line. So it is a three-pointer for Sweet. Sweet now with nine on the game. A minute to go, under a minute to go now in the second quarter. 20 to 21 in favor of the Broncos underneath the basket and tied up. They're going to have a foul. Ugh. They are fouled under the basket. Looks like it goes against Tui. That's Tui's first personal foul, seventh team foul on the Broncos. That shot up and no good. A group of scrambling goes out of bounds. So Zimprich coming in for the Broncos now. So Zimprich, number 25, Zimprich is in for the Broncos. They're pressed by Schleck. Like Wortman also in for the Broncos. Broncos looking for some fresh legs. The shot was put up by Sweet. A wall with the ball, looking to drive in. Wall gets it over to Gruba. That taken away with 24 seconds to go. That ball is taken away by Tui. I should say tied up. So possession there goes over to the Eagles. Goes over to Garuba, that's put up, that's short. Oh, Schleck from three point land, air ball, she's fouled now. Hey, Schultz is fouled, moving the ball down the court on the near side. So that's eighth team foul, the half for Enderlin. So Schultz will be able to shoot one, or shooting one from the free throw line. Schultz's first shot is up. She converts. That's three points now in the game for Schultz. Now one for five from the free throw line. Her second shot is up, and that one's also good. Schultz now two for six. That's stolen by Wirtman. Wirtman's going to drive in, working against Gruba. She puts it up. Can't get it up over Gruba. That ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Eagles. So 2.7 seconds, Broncos grab a three-point lead. That's inbound, looking to shoot it. Not in time, gets fed to Schultz. Schultz puts it up and in, and, but that's no good as time runs out. So halftime score is 23 to 20 in favor of the Broncos. And we'll go ahead and step away for a minute or so, pay some of our bills with our sponsor, we'll come back and uh, go over some of our halftime stats and then get set up for a second half of play. We got a burner going on here in the uh, OHS gymnasium between the Interland Eagles and the Lisbon Broncos. I'm a resident and National Hockey League official for 21 years. Why officiate? Some officiate to help kids learn and respect the game. They enjoy watching kids develop in their sport and as people, and they enjoy it because it's fun. You can be an official. Call your local high school or the North Dakota High School Activities Association at 701 845-3953. A message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Manage what you can to overcome what you cannot. Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119, 636-2119, or planterdoc.com. My roots run deep. I dream of a world 
where planting a seed can bring forth the food and knowledge our world needs right now. The field is my classroom, and I have the power to make a difference. I am going to feed the world someday. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. Folks, it's tax season, and the best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. From on-site farm repairs to maintaining the condition of your vehicle, trust the staff at Welton's Tire Service. They've served the Lisbon area since 1972, guaranteeing customer satisfaction and workmanship from farm equipment, tire services, and preventative vehicle maintenance. You'll find it all from affordable prices, free estimates, to their knowledgeable technicians answering any question. Welton's Tire Service is locally owned and located on Main Street in Lisbon. For information, go online to weltonstire.net or call 701-683-5136. All right, welcome back to the LHS Gymnasium. We got a good one going on between the Underland Eagles and Lisbon Broncos in this Region 1 contest. So Lisbon leads this one by a score of 23 to 20. Looking at our uh, halftime stats for the Broncos, Broncos are led in scoring by Kaya Sweet, Sweet putting up th uh, three from the three point line for her nine points, followed by Heckerl with five. Schultz with the three-pointer, and then Tui with the with another three-pointer, differing yet to get on the board for the Broncos. Over to the Interland Eagles, Gruber leads all scorers with 11 points, followed by Schleck, then Wall, uh, and then Mackenzie Wall with three points. So Gruber with 11, Schleck with five, and Mackenzie Wall with three for the Interland Eagles. Broncos from the free throw line right now are three of 11. So one of the areas Broncos looking to improve upon in the second half is from that free throw line, that charity stripe. They call it that for a reason. So right now, Lisbon, three for 11 from the free throw line. The Interland capitalizing on their trips to the free throw line, going five for seven in the first half. And both teams getting into foul trouble or over the uh, six foul mark in that first half of play. It, for fouls I have for the Enderlin Eagles, Multiple players with two fouls apiece and Schlecht, Wall, and Gruba. And then for the Lisbon Broncos, have uh, Heckerl and Differding both with two fouls apiece. Tui with one and Schultz with one. And they probably missed a couple there, but those are unofficial stats. And looking at our Bank North scoreboard right now, the score is 23 to 20. Bank North offers the traditional and advanced products and services that keep you grounded and ahead of the curve in today's fast-paced world. For farming and ranching, business and consumer banking and lending, you'll always be headed in the right direction with Bank North. To learn more about Bank North, visit banknorth, ibanknorth.com or stop by one of the locations today. So that sums up our first half stats as far as scoring for both teams. Like I said, Lisbon going three for seven, Three for 11 from the free throw line, entering on the Eagles, going five for seven. But that hasn't hurt the Broncos. Broncos from the charity stripe. Uh, getting hot is Kaya Sweet for Lisbon, putting away three three pointers. Gruber really picked it up in that second quarter. He got on a roll, putting in some baskets, and then also draining a three pointer for herself for her 11 points. So we'll go ahead and step away for another timeout, and we'll get back, get, uh, get set for our third quarter of play here at the Lisbon High School Gymnasium. Today, with the latest goings on in the region with the Coaches Show every Wednesday night on yourliveevent.com. Deep down the middle, has a man, Soka Porter. Soka Porter to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and taken down there. We'll dive into the latest stories from North Dakota and Minnesota. And there's the block by Reese. 
That's The Coaches Show with me, Joe Lancello, on yourliveevent.com every Wednesday night starting at 7. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. All right, welcome back to the Lisbon High School Gymnasium. I'm sports announcer guy, Brent Dick. And we have a good one going on here between the Enderland Eagles and the Lisbon Broncos. Looking at that Bank North scoreboard, the Broncos are up in this one by a score of 23 to 20. Lisbon able to grab that lead with about the, about the three minute or three minutes remaining in that second quarter and able to hold on going into halftime. And both teams getting hot. From the free throw line, Lisbon. Lisbon able to get Scoring from Kaya Sweet with her three three uh, three point baskets and also another one from Tui on the Enderland side. Enderland's led by Genevieve Ruby with her 11 points. She also has a three point in the game along with uh, along with Schlecht for the Eagles. So this is the uh, annual GOAT game between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderland Eagles. That was postponed or rescheduled from last Friday. So I'm sure everybody had you got to experience that wonderful four-day blizzard that we had here in Lisbon, North Dakota. Shut, every, shut the state down for the most part for four, going on five days. Everybody finishing up, digging out today, and we're able to get back on the court and play some basketball here tonight in Lisbon. So this being our annual GOAT game, you know, just talk a little bit about our our uh, trophy that we have on the on the girls' side. So Lislin, we'll talk about the Lislin history. That's the trophy or the GOAT trophy that goes over goes over to the winner in this game. That was made in 2014, so that uh, became a new tradition to serve as a trophy for the girls' game between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. They thought about doing a plaque, but then they decided that, you know what, they had to have something similar to the boys, so they came up with the uh, with a new GOAT trophy for the girls called Lislin. So it was thought to uh, construct, construct a female GOAT for the girls' game, and in December 2018, Lislin, Lislin was born. Her name is made up of both towns, Lisbon from Liz from Lisbon and Lynn from Enderlin. Lislin is Red Knob's way younger sister, and she definitely has a feminine personality. Built by the Enderlin egg class, along with the blanket sewn by the Enderlin's fax class, the legs were constructed out of wooden dowels. Its tail is unraveled twine, and she presents herself with nail polish and fake eyelashes. The blanket on her back has to be hand sewn, and it took over a week to complete. We're back here for a third quarter play inbound by the Broncos. It goes over to Sweet. And Sweet gets it to Tui and over to Heckerl. The Heckerl puts it up off the front of him. Now gets her own rebound, puts it back up. The ball tied up. Looks like Schlecht had it and then Differding able to tie her up. On the possession arrow goes back over to the Eagles. Uh, ball from Schlecht over to Wall. The Broncos, good pressure by the Broncos. A double team on Wall. Now Wall gets it to Gruba, and she's fouled. She's fouled by Tui. Or maybe I guess I'm wrong there. She's pushed out of bounds by Schlecht. Or Schlecht ended up dribbling out of bounds. The pressure by the Broncos causes the turnover. Goes from Tui to Sweet, looking for Heckerl underneath. Heckerl able to get fingertips on it. Saves the ball from going out of bounds. Puts it up for Differding. And she's fouled. So fouled on the shot is Differding. Third 
So Differty from the Charity Stripers, first points of the game for Differding. Now one for three from the free throw line. Second shot is good, so Differding now with two points on the game, puts Lisbon up by a score of 25 to 20. Just to start, opening minute of the first quarter. Ball knocked out of bounds by Sweet. Sweet goes around the backside, knocks it out of bounds. Last touch by the Broncos. It's inbounds by Bergstedt. And Bergstedt gets it to Gruba. Gruba kicks it out the wall. Wall just inside the three-point line, so two points for Wall. You know, six points on the game. Heckrell wide open, puts it up and in for Heckrell. A left-handed layup for Heckrell, puts it up and in. That's seven points for Heckrell in the game. The Broncos pressure in the Eagles. The Eagles able to bust it out. Over to Schleck. Schleck has Gruba from three-point line. That's up. Off the front side of the rim. No, no good. Rebound by the Eagles. Now Wall has it again. Gets it to Gruba. Gruba's going to drive in this time through the lane. Puts it up. She's fouled by Heckrell. That's Heckrell's third personal foul. Oh, that's on Tui. So that is on Tui. Her second personal foul. First team foul of the half for the Broncos. So Gruba puts that one up, and it's good. Her first points of the second half. She now has 12 points in the game. Over different day, different day, up over the basket. Jeff Gruba comes in and blocks that shot. Gruba with the monster block. And pushed out of bounds by Gruba. The last touch by the Eagles. Inbound to Heckrell. Might have got away with the step on that inbound. It's passed over to Schultz. Schultz looking for an open, open Bronco. Puts it up off the... Backboard rolls off the front side of the rim, pressured by the Broncos, and we have like a foul underneath the basket. So that's on on Tui. So that's her third personal. So Tui now subbed out. So Bria Sweet coming in for the Broncos. All right. Yeah, timeout in the game. We'll go ahead and step away for a 30-second timeout. The college has better equipment than the shop I'm at now. Like, you name it, they got it. You get to use your tools and your hands a lot more. My name is Sean, and I'm here for my future. First week of college, I can't tell you how many friends I've made. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like, every time I go to a meeting, like, everyone knows my name. They're always kind to me. I love it. I can't tell, I can't explain how much I love you here. My name is Junior, and I'm here for my future. Riverside Building. Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. Up on Bank North scoreboard, Lisbon leads this one by a score of 27 to 24. The story of the second half so far, Tui picks up her third personal foul, started for the Broncos, picking up her third personal foul. She's sub, uh, subbed out with Bria Sweet, so Sweet in, in the game for Lisbon. Leading scorer of the game right now is Genevieve Grubo with 12 points. In ball from Wall to Schleck. Broncos pressuring. The Eagles now double teamed. Going hard on the floor is Kaya Sweet. So Sweet, Sweet subbed out now by Wortman. Kaya Sweet subs out. Wirtman goes in. 
The wall just powering through that double team by the Broncos. Oh, Schleck sets up from three points. That's good. Schleck drains it from behind the arc. That's three for Schleck. It's her second three-pointer of the game. She now has eight points. Bria Sweet. So Schleck picking up her third personal foul. The second personal foul or second foul of the half for the Enderlin Eagles. Go over to Schultz. Schultz looking for Wertman. Wertman puts it up from three. It's off the front of the rim. Heckroll with the rebound. Now to Dipperding. Dipperding looking for Wertman at the top of the key. That's stolen away by the Eagles by Wall. Now Gruba drives in right by Heckroll. Not much resistance on that layup by Gruba. She picks up two points. Now 27 to 29. Lisbon maybe want to slow this down a little bit. Enderlin getting hot. That was put up by Schleck. Over to Wertman. Wertman working down court. A stolen away by Gruba. Gets it out to Schleck, clearing midcourt. Schleck looking for help, gets the wall. That's tipped away, right back to Schleck. It's a good heads up play by Schultz. That's like a good jump ball. That's a foul, it's a Wertman. Wertman picking up a foul, it's her first personal foul. Third team foul of the half for the Broncos. I think Wertman subbed out. Kaya Sweet back in. So Sweet back in for the Broncos. We're up on the Bank North scoreboard. Lisbon leads this one by two. Had a three-point lead at halftime. Now a two-point lead here at the 413 mark in the first or the uh, second half. Go ahead, step away for another 30-second timeout. Is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinner, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. Welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We've got a good one going between the Broncos and the Eagles. Lisbon's up on the Bank North scoreboard by two points, 29 to 27. After that timeout by the Broncos. It's a pass to Bergstedt over to Wall. Wall, very physical player. He loses control of it. You get tied up. That possession will go to the Broncos. So Bria Sweet gets in there and ties it up for Lisbon. You get possession back. Now Kaya Sweet will inbound. Over to Schultz, reaching in and foul on Bergstedt. So that's her fourth personal foul for Bergstedt. Three team fouls in this half for the Eagles. Over to Kaya Sweet and all to Schultz. Schultz driving in and set up in there is Wall. Wall had her feet planted. Schultz drives right into her, gets called with the charge. That's her second personal foul, fourth team foul on the Broncos. Gruber leading all scores in this game with 15 points. Excuse me, 14 points. Put up 11 in the first half, now three in the second. That's over to Schleck. Schleck 
Trying to find an open eagle into the basket. Just a little bit too much off the fingertips. Last touch by the Eagles. 3.27 to go in the third quarter. Lisbon's up by two. Well, Lisbon able to cut through that pressure by the Eagles. Now Differding left open. Looked like that lane was going to close up by Differding, but the Eagle player just moved out of the way. Differding able to drive up and put two down for the Broncos. That shot, no good. Rebound by Schultz. So Differding with four points this half. Picking up a couple of three throws. Now behind the three-point line is Sweet. That's up and off. Sweet found the range in the first quarter, not able to pick it up here in the, in the second half, or in the first half, not able to pick it up in the second half. The Eagles call a timeout. We're tied up now. Excuse me, got to get the score right. Knotted up at 29 apiece. With this timeout, Eagles timeout, we'll go ahead and transition away for another 30 second timeout. The Lisbon Bronco Athletic Boosters is a group of parents, coaches, and community members whose mission is to enrich the Lisbon High School Athletic Community by providing financial support for Lisbon High School Athletic programs and events. If you are interested in getting involved, they invite you to join the Bronco Athletic Booster Group on Facebook to learn more. The Lisbon Athletic Boosters send a good luck wish to all athletes competing today. Right, welcome back to the Lisbon High School Gymnasium. The contest between the Enderlin Eagles and the Lisbon Broncos Region 1 contest. Winner of this will pick up their first region win. Enderlin looking to move to 3-3 three and three and hit that 500 mark. Broncos still searching for the first win of the season. The ball to Gruba kicked out. Looks like it's over to Schlecht. Schlecht goes down on the court. Back to Gruba. A pressure there by the, Liz, by the Broncos. So Schleck picks up foul. A good pressure by Sweet. Picks up a foul by Schleck. That's her fourth team foul, or fourth personal foul for Schleck. Fourth team foul of the half for the Eagles. Kaya Sweet. A nice shot there by Kaya Sweet. It drove to the far baseline. That cuts it back up, lays it up off her fingertips for two points. Broncos up now by a score of 31 to 29. A shot from Wall from the three point line. That's an air ball by Wall. Well, Sweet picks up her first two points of the half, putting the Broncos up by a score of 31 to 29 on her Bangor scoreboard. Minute 45 to go in the, first, or in the third quarter. It's a travel on Sweet. So Sweet working the near side, picks up a travel. Turns it over for the Broncos. Gruba drives in, working against Heckerl. Back out for the Eagle, nice sky hook. Drive to the center of the lane. A little bit of a sky hook, floats it up and in for two points. That's stolen away, tied up now, 31 to 31. The turnover by the Broncos, gets it to Gruba. Gruba's gonna drive against Heckerl. A pass, their shot is just tipped by Heckerl. Goes to Schultz. Under a minute now to go in this third quarter. All tied up, 31 to 31. Good job, Alex. So that foul is on number three, Fredericks. That's her per first personal foul on the night. Basket, is, so Heckro with two points for Lisbon, lays it up and in for two. A 
Heckerl now with four points in the third quarter. Has nine on the night for Heckerl. Group looking to set the pick at the top. Gets it to Wall. Wall's going to drive in, puts it up for Wall. She puts it up and in. No foul there by the Broncos, but Wall puts it up. Keeping this thing tied up at 33 on the Bank North scoreboard. Over to Sweet. Sweet to Tui. Tui lays it up and in. Two with five points. The closing seconds of the third quarter. The Broncos up on the Bank North scoreboard take a two point lead into the third quarter, going into the fourth, 35 to 33 over the Enderlin Eagles in the battle for Lislin. So we'll go ahead and transition away for another 30 second timeout and get set for our fourth quarter of play. The best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. Honesty loyalty, integrity. At Bank North, we've remained true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. Hey, welcome back for our fourth quarter play. Basketball game tonight between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. We're looking for an exciting finish here in the LHS Gymnasium. The Bank North scoreboard, Lisbon leads this one by two, 35 to 33. Back and forth battle between the Eagles and the Broncos. Leading all scorers on the night is Genevieve Gruba with 14 points. That rebounds to Schlecht. Kaya Sweet for the Broncos has 11 points, picking up two points in the first half and nine in the in the said in the second half and nine in the first half. A scramble under the basket, one by the Broncos. That goes to Tui. Tui's going to drive in, runs into Gruba, then turns it over. Got a jump ball. That possession goes back over to the Broncos. That pass from Schultz, good feed from Schultz to Differding underneath. Differding just not able to handle it. Rolls up off the rim. And Broncos looking to press on the inbounds by the Eagles. The Eagles still haven't cleared it. Over to Schleck. Sweet applying the pressure for the Broncos. Now Wall thinks about it, drives in. Doesn't put it up. Just swings it back out to Gruber. Gruber from three points. That one's hits the backboard, bounces out. That's fed to Differding underneath. Differding puts it down. Two points for Differding. They put it on the floor, then puts it up, lays it up and in for two points, and also fouled underneath the basket. The Broncos take a four-point lead, opening up this fourth quarter. Differding with seven points on the night. Free throw attempt is no good for Differding. The Broncos in the first half of play officially had him three for 11 from the free throw line. Order. Schultz on the defense. Wall kicks it out to Gruba. Gruba from three points. Like a foul on the Broncos. On Schultz. So that's her third personal foul. 15 foul on the Broncos. Eagles with 16 fouls. 
The wall looking for an open eagle. That's cleared out and put on the floor by the Eagles. Like two and different tied tie it up. Six seventeen to go in the fourth quarter. Lisbon's up on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of thirty seven to thirty three. Inbounds pass back to Schleck. Gruba trying to create some space in there for Schleck. Schleck kicks it back out. Goes over the wall. Over to Schleck, then to Gruba. Gruba looking for some opening. Has it up. Puts it up and in for two points for Gruba. Gruba with 16. Put up by a sweet from beyond the arc. That's an air ball. Schultz with the mad scramble comes away for for Lisbon. Looking for the left hand to lay up is Schultz. Puts it up too hard. Hecker with the offensive rebound. Puts it up for two. Look, Kyer Hecker with the offensive rebound. Lisbon maintains that four point lead up 39 to 35. Hecker with six points in the second half. Five points in the first. Good for 11 in the game. Right on the baseline, and out of bounds. So turnover by the Eagles. to Heckerl and Schultz picks it up. He'll scramble underneath the basket. Schultz picks it up, puts it up and in, rolls off her fingertips for two. Her first points of the half. She now has five in the game for Schultz. And Gruber gets it, drives through the lane, finding an opening. Defense by Sweet. And Broncos just kind of looked at that. Sweet was able to tie her up. Gruba puts it back on the back on the floor, lays it up and in for two. Oh, 41 to 37. Gruba brings it down court. Gruba with 18. 401 to go in the third or in the fourth quarter, second half of play. And Broncos slowing it down. Sweet with the ball. And two at the pick gets it to Differding underneath the basket, lays it up and in for for Differding for two. And Broncos breaking it open just a little bit. Six point lead now for the Broncos. That's an air ball put up. By, the, by Schleck, Schleck finds Differding. Differding is gonna drive to the basket, puts it up, she's fouled by Schleck. So two points for, or two shots coming from the free throw line for Differding. So Differding with eight points in the half, had one point in the first. First half of play, second half of play, she has eight. Bronco break, breaks it open to a six point lead, 3.28 to go in the fourth quarter. Differding's first shot is up and in. The Broncos take those all day as long as they can convert. The second shot by Differning is off the back. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound by the Eagles. It's over to Gruba. Yeah, Sweet's gonna foul. Sweet picked up for the foul. We're going for the foul, or going for the ball was Sweet. Put a hand on Gruba, picks up the foul. So 16 foul by the Broncos. Inbounds pass to Gruba. Gruba's going to drive up, puts it off the left hand, gets her own rebound for two. Got a timeout. So 43 to 30, 
excuse me, 44 to 39. At the 301 mark in the fourth quarter, go ahead and step away on this uh, timeout and TV timeout on yourliveevent.com. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinter, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. Hey, we're back at the Lisbon High School Gymnasium for the battle between the Broncos and the Eagles. Lisbon up in this one on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of 44 to 39. Looking for an exciting finish here at the 301 mark of the fourth quarter. The student section by the Eagles up on their feet, imbalanced by the Broncos to Heckerl. Able to clear that pressure by the Eagles. And Lisbon looking to slow down, trying to slow down the tempo now. They have a six, excuse me, a five point lead. That's a turnover by the Broncos. A foul. So foul by Kaya Sweet. Their third personal seventh team foul. All students will learn, experience success, and be good citizens from elementary through high school. The school staff and community takes great pride in providing meaningful and innovative opportunities for our students who continue to maintain ACT scores above state and national averages. Watch your kids continue to grow within the Lisbon Public School District from the playing surface to the classroom. For more information, go online to LisbonPublicSchools.com. This is Thor Nelson, a Minot resident and National Hockey League official for 21 years. Why officiate? Some officiate to help kids learn and respect the game. They enjoy watching kids develop in their sport and as people, and they enjoy it because it's fun. You can be an official. Call your local high school or the North Dakota High School. A little technical difficulty coming back there. Score 44 to 39 on our Bake North scoreboard. Broncos up by five. After that timeout, driving the lane, putting it up off the top of the backboard, no good. Coming down with it is Differding. That's knocked out of bounds by Gruba. A minute 57 mark in the fourth quarter. Lisbon trying to slow down the tempo of the game. Good timeout for the Broncos. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30 second timeout. 701-845-3953. A message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local precision planting dealer. Manage what you can to overcome what you cannot. Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119, 636-2119, or planterdoc.com. My roots run deep. I dream of a world where planting a seed can bring forth the food and knowledge our world needs right now. The field is my classroom, and I have the power to make a difference. I am going to feed the world someday. Hey, welcome back, back here at the Lisbon High School Gymnasium for the last two minutes of play as Broncos lead this one by a score of 39 to 44. The inbounds pass from two eagles to Schultz. Schultz drives the lane. She's down on the floor right now. So Schultz down hard on the floor. A little assistance from her teammates, gets back up. Schultz will go to the line for a shot. Oh, 
So she gets two shots, so that was in the process of, of shooting. So she gets two from the free throw line for Emerson Schultz. Broncos up by five points, 44 to 39. First shot for Schultz, puts it up, rolls off, hits the backboard, bounces in for first three throw. Schultz, second attempt, rolls off the rim, rebound by the Eagles. Eagles get it out to Gruba. Lisbon now up by six. Over to Wall, Wall's gonna drive in, kicks it out. And from the top of the three-point line, that one's off the front of the rim. It's over to Tui. Tui's going to break that press by the Eagles, gets it over to Differding. Differding over to Sweet. Broncos looking to learn out the clock. That's turned over by the Broncos. Gruba has it all on her own, picks it up and in for two. No. Another timeout for the Inderland Eagles. So Gruba comes away with two points. The Broncos up by four. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30 second timeout. Abuse can affect anyone and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. Folks, it's tax. Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We're back for a final minute 13 of play between the Lisbon Broncos and the Inderland Eagles in this Region 1 girls basketball contest. And also looking to win that annual GOAT game are the Broncos up by Four points, 45 to 41. Ball inbounded to Heckrow. Heckrow finds Sweet. Sweet's going to back out. That's timeout by the Broncos. The Broncos able to break that pressure. We're down to a minute four now to go in the fourth quarter. Leading all scorers in the night is Genevieve Gruba for the Enderlin Eagles, leads all scorers. She has 21 points on the night. Broncos have two players in double digits, led by Kendra Differding and Kyra Heckrell, both with 11 points for the Broncos. Yeah, sweet in the first half for the Broncos, put away, was able to drain three three-pointers from behind that arc. Cooled off here in the second half. She has two points in the second half, picked up nine in the first half of play. Should say she also has 11, so we got three Broncos in double digits. So that'll be Sweet, Heckro, and Differding. Sweet had five in the first half. Differding had one point in the first half. She's definitely heated up and brought the game in the second half, the junior for the Broncos. Scoring 10 in the second half of play. Latouille will inbound it for the Broncos. Broncos back in with all their starters. He's followed immediately by Wall. So Schultz going to the free throw line for the Broncos. Schultz with six points on the game. Shot is put up, rolls off. Goes to Gruba. Gruba's going to drive in, puts it up. Rolls over the rim. Like a last touch by the Broncos. Sweeps chasing the ball. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Broncos. So, Enderlin ball. The wall looking to inbound it. He gets it in over to Gruba. Gruba over to Wall. Wall hasn't hit one from the three-point line. Looks for it. Puts it up. Off. Rebound by Sweet. The Wall looks like she'll pick up the foul. So she falls out of the game. Into the 
the tenth team foul. So 37 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Lisbon's up by a score of 45 to 41. Sweet puts it up, rolls out. A second shot by Sweet, rolls off the front side of the rim. Rebound by the Broncos. Down to 30 seconds to go now. Broncos breaking that pressure by the Eagles. Feeds under to Heckrow. Heckrow's going to put up two points for Heckrow. Broncos up now by a score of 47 to 41. This has been up by six. Their biggest lead, or ties their biggest lead of the game. And charging in is Gruba. Looked like Tui had her, either Tui or Dipperding. Oh, sweet called with the foul. Gruba sinks her first free throw. The second shot by Gruba is up and good. A ball thrown away by the Broncos. Differing, able to pick it up. Looks like she got away with the travel. She's able to grab the ball. Differing gets tied up, so possession arrow goes to the Broncos. Actually, she's fouled. So differing from the free throw line. Frederick's second personal foul. Differing's first shot is off and no good. His second shot, no good. Rebound by the Broncos, tied up. So travel. And tied up by Gruba. Schultz goes down to the floor, called for traveling. Broncos up by four. We got another timeout with 12.3 seconds to go. Lisbon leads this one on the bank North scoreboard by four, 47 to 43 over the Enderlin Eagles. We'll go ahead and transition away for another 30 second timeout. Your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. From on-site farm. Welcome back. We're at the Lisbon High School Gymnasium for a girls' basketball contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles Region 1 contest. Broncos working to pick up their first win of the season, the first win in Region 1. Enderlin Eagles currently sit at 2-3, and three, trying to go to that 500 mark. They're down a two-game two win streak here. Yeah, before the, before the blizzard break last week, the last 12.3 seconds of play, Eagles have the ball. Gets it to Gruba. Gruba's going to clear that pressure. Pick set up. It's tied up by the, by the Broncos. That's over. They're mishandled by the Eagles. That's going to go to Heckroll. We're going to run out of time. Lisbon picks up the first win of the season. And also winner of that annual GOAT game on the girls' side. The Lislin going home with the Broncos. Lisbon on the Bank North scoreboard wins by a score of 47 to 43. We'll go ahead and cut away for another minute, 30 second timeout. Come back, close it out with our halftime stats, get reset for a boys game. We'll see you in about a minute of your vehicle. Trust the staff at Welton's Tire Service. They've served the Lisbon area since 1972, guaranteeing customer satisfaction and workmanship from farm equipment, tire services, and preventative vehicle maintenance. You'll find it all from affordable prices, free estimates, to their knowledgeable technicians answering any question. Welton's Tire Service is locally owned and located on Main Street in Lisbon. For information, go online to weltonstire.net or call 701-683-5136. Stay up to date with the latest goings on in the region with the Coaches Show every Wednesday night on yourliveevent.com. Goes deep down the middle, has a man, Soka Porter. Soka Porter to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and taken down there. 
We'll dive into the latest stories from North Dakota and Minnesota. And there's the block by Reese. That's the Coaches Show with me, Joe Lancello, on YourLiveEvent.com every Wednesday night starting at 7. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm the project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Here it's way more hands-on. The college has better equipment than the shop I'm at now. Like you name it, they got it. You get to use your tools and your hands a lot more. My name is Sean and I'm here for my future. First week of college, I can't tell you how many friends I've made. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like every time I go to a meeting, like everyone knows my name, they're always kind to me. I love it, I can't tell, I can't explain how much I love you here. My name is Junior and I'm here for my future. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon, North Dakota is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinner, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. Welcome back to this Region 1 contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Indian League Eagles and the girls, district, or girls Region 1 Basketball Broncos win this one by a score of 47 to 43. Lisbon takes home the annual GOAT game trophy. Lisbon going back or staying with the Lisbon Broncos. Lisbon winning by a score of 47 to 43 on the Bank North scoreboard. Looking at our scoring leaders for tonight, all scorers led by Enderlin's Genevieve Gruba with 21 points. So Gruba picking up 21 points on the game for Enderlin. Also in double digit marks for the Broncos or on the, on the Broncos side is Kaya Sweet with 11, Kyra Heckrell with 13, and Kendra Differding, I have her with 10. So Lisbon putting three into the, into the uh, double digits on the scoring side. Enderlin with Gruba's 21. So we had four players tonight in double digits on the Enderland and the Broncos side of the ball. Now looking at the, the Enderland Eagles overall, at number two Wall with two points, Schleck number 13 with eight points, Mackenzie Wall number 20 with nine. She had three in the first half, and then picked up, excuse me, with seven. She had three in the first half, and then I have her for four more in the second. So picking up seven is Mackenzie Wall. Gruba had 11 in the first half, then put down 10 in the second half for 21 points. Bergstedt started for the Interland Eagles, held scoreless uh, during the game. All Broncos starters on the board and scoring for the scoring for the Lisbon Broncos. Had Tui with five points, Kaya Sweet with 11, Kyra Hecker with 13, Kendra Differding with 10, and Emerson Schultz with six. That rounds out the the scoring. for the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. Just looking at one of the keys or one of the key stats of the games and that ended up working out for the Broncos, but the Broncos went eight for 17 from the free throw line and the Enderlin Eagles were six for 10. So one thing the Broncos, I'm sure they'll look to improve on throughout the season if they want to get into some of these big games or some of these other games 
and uh, take a few wins away. They're going to have to improve on that free throw shooting, going 8 for 17 from the free throw line. So Broncos win this one by a score of 47 to 43. We'll go ahead and cut away, talk about our energy player of the game and our RDK Enterprise player of the game when we come back. The Lisbon Bronco Athletic Boosters is a group of parents, coaches, and community members whose mission is to enrich the Lisbon High School Athletic community by providing financial support for Lisbon High School Athletic programs and events. If you are interested in getting involved, they invite you to join the Bronco Athletic Booster Group on Facebook to learn more. The Lisbon Athletic Boosters send a good luck wish to all athletes competing today. Folks, it's tax season, and the best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. You're welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium where the Lisbon Broncos walk away victorious in this Region 1 girls basketball contest, winning by a score of 47 to 43 over the Enderlin Eagles. They're going into our energy player of the game or Enbridge energy player of the game. Tomorrow is happening right now. Now more than ever, the world needs safe, secure, sustainable, affordable sources of energy. Visit tomorrowison.com. Enbridge, life takes energy. So our energy player of the game, Enbridge energy player of the game. Goes over to Genevieve Gruba, picking up that 21 points for the Enderlin Eagles. Scored 11 in the first half, 10 in the second half. So hats off to Genevieve Gruba and her, her effort tonight on the court, just coming up short for the Enderlin Eagles, scoring 21 points. In our RDK Enterprises player of the game in Hillsboro and Drayton, North Dakota, they thank you, the area growers, for your trust in RDK Enterprises. As your planner experts, RDK Enterprises continues to invest in education of their team members to provide the customer service you expect from your planner. Experts at RDK Enterprises. Always revisit the performance of your planners. Call 701-636-2119 or visit planner.com. So our RDK Enterprises player of the game, that's going to go to Kendra Differding for Lisbon Broncos. Differding. Picking her play up in the second half and putting down nines for the Broncos, coming up with some key turnovers and also converting from the free throw line for Lisbon. They're putting away 10 points total for the game. So our RDK Enterprises player of the game for Lis goes to Lisbon Broncos, Kendra Differding, and our Enbridge Energy player of the game goes to Genevieve Gruba for the Enderlin Eagles. So we're going to go ahead and break away and get reset for the uh, boys game. Here on yourliveevent.com, I'm Brent Dick, the sports announcer guy, and we'll see you in about 10 minutes on the uh, boys basketball game, region one, another region one contest between the Lisbon boys basketball team and Enderlin Eagles. Integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North. Always true. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people doing remarkable things together. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinner, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. 
For more information, go to nd-insure.com. The Lisbon Public School District ensures that all students will learn, experience success, and be good citizens from elementary through high school. The school staff and community takes great pride in providing meaningful and innovative opportunities for our students who continue to maintain ACT scores above state and national averages. Watch your kids continue to grow within the Lisbon Public School District from the playing surface to the classroom. For more information, go online to lisbonpublicschools.com. This is Thor Nelson, a Minot resident and National Hockey League official for 21 years. Why officiate? Some officiate to help kids learn and respect the game. They enjoy watching kids develop in their sport and as people, and they enjoy it because it's fun. You can be an official. Call your local high school or the North Dakota High School Activities Association at 701-845-3953. A message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. This is Chris.
All right, welcome to the Lisbon High School Gymnasium. We're here for Region 1 Class B Boys Basketball Contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. They're playing the annual GOAT game tonight between the Broncos and the Eagles. Winner of this game takes over, takes home Red Knob. Right now, the Enderlin Eagles on a six-game winning streak in this annual contest between the Broncos and the Eagles, winning the last six years. The Broncos looking to get a little revenge and pick up a win tonight over the Eagles and take home Red Knob and start their own streak here at the Lisbon Gymnasium. We'll go ahead and talk about our starting lineups. Our starting lineups for the Enderlin Eagles. Starting at six foot guard is number zero, Anthony Wendell. Another guard at five foot 10 is senior, number three, Trey Wall. Starting out forward is six foot six, senior, number 20, Carson Bartholomew. Another forward, six foot two, junior, number 24, Aiden Glarum. Standing at six foot three, their center, senior, number four, Caden Ammerman. You know, Lisbon Broncos, their starting lineup, starting at guard is five foot 10, junior, number two, Jaden Bittner. Another guard, six foot sophomore, number three, Lincoln Adair. Starting at forward, six foot four, senior, number 24, Wyatt Webb. Starting at another forward is six foot two, junior, number 34, Sam Kelson. And starting at, seven, uh, at center for the Lisbon Broncos is six foot seven, junior, number 30, Ethan Gilbert. The Broncos coached by Kim Mark and assisted by Brad Bittner and Justin Ranke. The Ender Eagles coached by Calvin Kraft and assisted by Josh Michelson. Well, everybody on their feet for this annual contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. The Lisbon Broncos coming to this game with a record of 0-1. They played at Barnes County last week and dropped, or excuse me, two weeks, almost two weeks ago now, and dropped that first game of the season by a score of 66 to 67. Enderlin Eagles come in with an overall record of two and three, 0 and two in region one. Or excuse me, with an overall rec record of 0 and one in region two, a region one record of 0 and one. They played on the 29th of November with the loss. Well, actually, no, Enderlin is 0-0 on the season, so this will be their first game. Just got to look at my uh, my schedule right here. So the Broncos will play tomorrow night again versus Lamore. Also play the 29th of December and the 3rd of January. So that tip won by the Enderlin Eagles. So that's Wendell. Wendell feeds it underneath. Went over the wall. A rebound by the Broncos. Bittner bringing it down. No look pass to Adair. So Bittner with a no look pass to Adair. Adair lets it go out of bounds. Turnover by the Broncos. You know, pressure applied by Bittner. Jaden Bittner for Lisbon Broncos. The junior. Played football for the Broncos this year. Got hurt early on in the season, so he's back out here healthy playing basketball. Ball put back up. Rebound by Glarum. So Glarum gets it, puts it back up. No score yet in the first minute of play. Glarum puts it back up, got his rebound. No, Gilbert. Ethan Gilbert with the rebound for the Broncos. So Gilbert gets it over to Bittner. Bittner over to Kelson. Kelson over to Wyatt Webb. Now to Lincoln Adair. Adair back to Bittner. Bittner to Gilbert. Gilbert from just inside the three-point line. So the big man shoots it up. Adair on the rebound. Offensive rebound. Lincoln Adair puts it up for two. So the big man, six foot seven. Ethan Gilbert puts it in just from inside the three-point line. Goes off. No good. To Dare gets collects the rebound for the Broncos, gets two points on the board. So that foul there is on Bartholomew, so it's first personal foul. Lisbon's up by a score two to zero. Dare putting the first two points on the board of the game and for the Broncos. Ball to Gilbert. Gilbert passes it out to Dare. Dare saw a little bit of daylight. Kicks it back out. 
I'll get it to Webb. Webb puts it up. Nice follow through by Webb. Puts it in for two. So Wyatt Webb on the board for the Broncos. Broncos up now by a score of four to zero. So Wall inbounds it. He's looking for Bartholomew. Bartholomew drives it in. No look pass. He kicks it back out. That's off. Shot by Bartholomew. Hey, Broncos on the rebound. Kicks it over to Bittner. Jaden Bittner behind the back. He's working against Wall. Trey Wall. Now into the big man, Gilbert. Gilbert puts it up. Just off the backside of the rim. Rebound by the Eagles. The Broncos get back on defense. Set up now. They're driving in his wall. Wall gets the travel gets called for a travel. She's tied up in there by Sam Kelson. Gets called for the travel. A turnover by the Eagles. Broncos ball. The wall on defense. A little bit of pressure for the Eagles. Now Bittner hands it off to Dare. Dare kicks it out to Kelson. A white web pulls up, short jumper. It's off the front of the rim. They're driving through, getting a little wild there. Is Bartholomew. Hey, last touch by the Broncos. So Enderland's ball. Lisbon leads this one on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of four to zero. Looks like Bartholomew went down on the far side of the court. The court a little bit slippery. That turnover by Wall. Kelson turns him over. Now Bittner, Bittner's going to drive through, puts it up, drives the lane to Bittner off the front of the rim. Now kicked out to Bartholomew. Dare back on defense. Drives in. He's going to be fouled. Be fouled by Kelson. Dare able to get back on defense. Bartholomew driving in. First shot no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up, and is fouled by Kelson. Excuse me on Wyatt Webb. That first free throw attempt by Bartholomew is no good. 4.37 to go in the first quarter. Lisbon leads this one on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of 4-0. to The second free throw roll, rolls off the back to the front and goes in. So... Enderland Eagles on the board. Bartholomew with one point. Nice feed there from Kelson to Adair. Adair rifles it into, or Kelson rifles it into Adair. Adair, left hand layup, puts it up and in. A rebound by Gilbert. Lisbon leads this one by a score of six to one. That's tied up. Defense pressure applied by Wall. So that is a foul. The second team foul. And Trey Wall with his first personal foul. Second team foul now on the Eagles. And Webb and Adair trade spots into Gilbert. Gilbert is fouled. So Gilbert fouled underneath. That goes against Brennan Bartholomew, a junior for the Enderlin Eagles. That ball to Bittner from the three-point line. That's off in, bounces off the front and in for three points for Jaden Bittner. Bittner gives himself a little appreciative clap on that three-pointer. Broncos go up by a score of nine to one. Over to Brendan Bartholomew. No back to wall. Now to Brendan Bartholomew. Back to wall. Wall drives in. Pushed back out by Bittner. Good defense by Wyatt Webb. The possession arrow. Looks like it was knocked out of bounds. The Broncos say it was last touched by Enderlin. Enderlin gets the ball back. 
Broncos up on the bank north scoreboard by score nine to one, 323 to go in the first quarter. Right now, Lincoln Adair leads all scorers with four points. Jaden Bittner with three and Wyatt Webb with two. And Carson Bartholomew picking up a free throw for that one point for the Enderlin Eagles. The wall drives in, puts it up. A rebound by the Broncos. Brandon Bartholomew with a little bit of defense there. Looked like he might pick up a foul, but cleared out by the Broncos. A Bittner drives in. Now back to Adair from the three-point line is Adair. Adair follows through, but that bounces out no good. Carson Bartholomew from three-point line. Three points for Bartholomew. So Carson Bartholomew now has four. Broncos lead by a score of... Nine to four. And Bittner gets it over to Wyatt Webb. Yeah, Webb back to Bittner. Now over to Adair. Adair from three. Adair puts it off the front of the rim, just misses. Now Webb with the rebound. Sky hooks it, no good. Last touch by the Eagles. Look, I went off of Carson Bartholomew's leg. So 2.17 to go in the first quarter. The Broncos lead this one by a score of nine to four. So glare him out of the game. Glare him out of the game. Brendan Bartholomew off the bench. It's like along with Caden Ammerman. Ball pushed inside by Bittner, knocked out of bounds. The last touch by the Eagles. The Broncos ball. An inbounds pass to Bittner. Over to Gilbert. That's three from Kelson. Kelson drains it. So Sam Kelson puts down three, knocks down three for the Broncos. He's on the board for the Lisbon Broncos. That's Brennan. Bartholomew puts it up from three. That's no good. Carson Bartholomew on the rebound. Puts it back up over the, over the rim with Gilbert on the rebound for Lisbon. Lisbon's up by a score of 12 to four. Hey, Webb over to, back over to Kelson. Kelson thought about it, pulls it down. Back to Bittner. Bittner to Webb. Webb gets it to Adair. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Kelson puts it back up. It's no good. Gilbert with the rebound. Sky hooks it up and in and fouled for Ethan Gilbert. So Gilbert rolls it up off his fingertip, goes down for two, and he's fouled on the shot. Lisbon up by 10 in the first quarter. Scored 14 to 4 on the Bank North scoreboard. Minute 18 to go with Gilbert at the line. We got a timeout by the Enderlin Eagles. We'll go ahead and step away for a 30 second timeout. You're welcome back to Lisbon High School. We're here with the Lisbon Broncos leading this one by 10 points, 14 to four over to the Enderlin Eagles. Yeah, just before the time out there by the Eagles, Gilbert put one up and in off his fingertips for two is fouled. It's 14 fouls by the Eagles. Gilbert's free throw shot is no good, rolls off. Rebound by the Eagles. Ball to Carson Bartholomew, gets it over to Brendan Bartholomew.
Now Trey Wall with it. Works towards the top, he drives in, finds a little daylight. Puts it up with the left hander. Up and in for Wall, so Wall with two points. He's on the board for the Enderland Eagles. Well, the score 14 to six. Lisbon leads this one by eight. Get my ad set up for next time. To take that intro off. That one's thrown away by Adair, so turn over by the Broncos. Said the Enderland won the last six contests or last six GOAT games between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderland Eagles. Annual rivalry game between the two teams. Winner takes home the coveted trophy, Red Knob. Down to 15 seconds in the first quarter. The Eagles playing for the last shot of the quarter. Goes to Ammerman. Ammerman to Carson Bartholomew. Bartholomew driving in. A loose ball on the court. Ammerman picks it up, puts, puts it up. And at the end of the quarter, Lisbon will take a 14 to six first quarter lead. And that bank north scoreboard, Lisbon's up by eight. We'll go ahead and step away for a 30 second timeout and come back for your second quarter of play. Local precision planting dealer. Manage what you can to overcome what you cannot. Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119, 636-2119, or planterdoc.com. My roots run deep. I dream of a world where planting a seed can bring forth the food and knowledge our world needs right now. The field is my classroom, and I have the power to make a difference. I am going to feed the world someday. Abuse can affect anyone and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. Folks, Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School on that inbounds pass. Broncos in possession to start the second quarter. They're working into Gilbert. It's blocked by Carson Bartholomew. So Gilbert went up with it. Carson Bartholomew stuffs the shot to Gilbert. Broncos lead this one by eight. Bank North scoreboard. They're up 40, 14 to six over the Enderlin Eagles. Wendell, that was in. He goes in for two, so Carson Bartholomew puts it down for two points, and he's fouled on the shot. That'll be the second team foul by the Broncos. So Ethan Gilbert called with his first personal foul. Bartholomew puts it up and in. Gilbert sets the pick for Kelson. Kelson driving in looking for an open man. And Bittner working the far side over to Webb. Webb finds Gilbert underneath, pits it up and in for Gilbert, rolls out. Just a little bit too hard by Gilbert on the left-hander, so that rolls out. It's 6.51 to go in the second quarter. Lisbon's up 14-9. This is Ammerman, Ammerman. Kicks it out and out of the wall. Wall back to Ammerman. 
They're working it inside, all kinds of Broncos in the middle. Gets to Glarum. Glarum has Bartholomew. The two seconds left on the shot clock. That one rolls up and in. Left Wall picks up two points on the jumper. Wall with four points. Carson Bartholomew with seven for the Eagles. The Eagles starting to set, settle down, slowing down the Broncos. They're chipping away at that lead now, 14 to 11 lead for the Lisbon Broncos up by three on the Bank North scoreboard. And Bittner gets it out to Kelson. Kelson puts it up, that one's off. Hits the backboard, rebound by the Enderlin Eagles. So Anthony Wendell on that rebound. He brings it down, now he's driving in as Wendell. He's fouled. So Wendell driving in, throws up the granny shot, and he's fouled. So that goes on Sam Kelson. Third team foul on the Broncos. First team foul, or personal foul. That's in the wall. That's put up, and that's a foul, either on Adair or Bittner. Nice bullet pass on the inbounds. Foul goes against Bittner, it's four team fouls. And shot by Wall is no good. Wall with four points in the game. Second shot, no good, rolls off, rebound by the Broncos. The Bittner. Nice dribbling, piece of dribbling by Bittner. Leaves Wall in his tracks. Drives in for the left-handed layup for Jaden Bittner. And Jordan Bittner in the game for the Broncos, number 32. Jaden, father to Jordan, brother Jordan. Oh, Adair has it, looking for a little daylight. Gets it over to Jordan, now to Kelson. Kelson's gonna drive in, spin move, short jumper, puts it up, rolls off. Webb on the rebound, that's kicked out to Bittner. And Webb clears it out to Bittner, Bittner drives in. Oh, he's fouled underneath. It's a hard shot underneath. But Wendell takes a hard one from Bittner. That's a foul, so it is on Bittner, so it's Bittner's second personal foul. So Brennan Bartholomew back in for the Enderlin Eagles. So right now they have Barth Carson Bartholomew, Wall, Brennan Bartholomew, Glarum, and Armerman out there for the Enderlin Eagles. Pass from Wall to Armerman. Armerman drives, spin move inside, puts it up over Kelson. That Kelson comes down with the rebound. Gives it to Jordan Bittner, the freshman. Into Gilbert. Now Webb thinks about it, puts it down. That shot's blocked by Ammerman. Eagles come away with it. Bartholomew drives in. Adair. Adair looked like he was set. But he's going to get called with the foul. Adair was sitting there, feet set in the, set in the floor. Planting roots, but he's called for the foul for Carson Bartholomew. He gets two points. And trip to the charity stripe. Bartholomew cuts that Bronco lead now to two points. Broncos up by two, 16 to 14. Yeah, 345 to go in the second quarter. Kelson looking for Webb. Has a dare open over in the corner. Dare puts it up off the backside of the rim. Last touch by the Broncos out on Kelson. Oh! Let me see it. Armerman swatting the ball out of Kelson's hand. Yes, he reached around the side, so Armerman out of bounds. Kelson inbound it for Lisbon over to Bittner. Bittner gets it over to Adair. 
Carry it over to Bittner. And Bittner puts it up from three points. That's in for Bittner. And Bittner with three, a second three-pointer of the night. A five-point lead for the Broncos. Bartholomew thinks about it. Hey, Webb with the defense. Bartholomew behind the back, drives in. Webb sets up. Bartholomew drives in again. He's fouled, and it counts. So basket is good. And going to the free throw line is Carson Bartholomew. And Wyatt Webb called for the foul. Hey, Webb was laying on the ground, though. Uh, Wyatt Webb was laying on the ground, but he's called for the foul. Put up and in by Bartholomew. Bartholomew gets him back to two points. You got Bartholomew at 13 points in the game. That's put up by Kelson. Kelson air ball. You know, working for that rebound was Lincoln Adair going up against Carson Bartholomew. So turnover by the Broncos. And with that, this turn, uh, time out by the Lisbon Broncos. Lisbon's up in this one by two, 19 to 17 on your Bank North scoreboard. We'll go and step away for another 30 second timeout. The best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. From on-site farm repairs to maintaining the condition of your vehicle, trust the staff at Welton's Tire Service. They've served the Lisbon area since 1972, guaranteeing customers satisfaction and workmanship from farm equipment, tire services, and preventative vehicle maintenance. You'll find it all from affordable prices, free estimates, to their knowledgeable technicians answering any question. Welton's Tire Service is locally owned and located on Main Street in Lisbon. For information, go online to weltonstire.net or call 701-683-5136. Right back here at the Lisbon Gymnasium. Broncos lead this one by two, 19 to 17. Inbound pass after that timeout. Yeah, Anderlin. He's tied up, trying to find out what the call is there. The Carson Bartholomew went on the floor. He and Adair fighting over the ball, so it would have been a jump ball possession arrow with the Enderlin Eagles. The wall inbounds looking for Bartholomew. This Kelson with the defense. Bartholomew gets it back out to Wall. A pick set up for Wall and now kicks it out to Bartholomew. Bartholomew back to Wall. He drives, has him daylight, plants his feet, puts it up and in for two points for Wall. Yeah, six points. In the first half for Wall. I'll tie it up now, 19 to 19. It's put up by two points. So Wyatt Webb with the layup for two for Wyatt Webb. He has four points in the game. Broncos up now again by two, 21 to 19. You know, 139 to play. The second stick and win this first half. Hey, Wendell gets it to Bartholomew. Carson Bartholomew fed it to Wendell, cutting in underneath the basket. Wendell has to kick it out. Now to Wendell. He's wide open from the three. Misses off the back of the rim. Webb with the rebound. Bittner brings it out. He's looking for a dare, a dare. Kelson not on the same page in that pass. A dare steps up. Kelson airs it over his head. Turnover by the Broncos. They're up 21 to 19 on the Bank North scoreboard. Also Parker taps it in for Lisbon. And number 44 for the Broncos, Parker Tapson. Yeah, 
And Bartholomew directing traffic. Under 45 seconds to go now in the first half. That's turned over by Bartholomew. Kelson with the defense. Jordan Bittner working against Bartholomew behind the back. Gets through that pressure by Bartholomew. On to 35 seconds. Shot clock at 24 seconds. And back to Bittner. Bittner kicks it out to Kelson. Cross-court pass over to Adair. Adair's going to drive the baseline. Gets it, feeds it underneath the Gilbert. That's blocked. So that was blocked by Bartholomew. Gilbert puts it up, blocked by Bartholomew. Kelson comes in for the rebound. He plows into Bartholomew. He picks up the foul. That's the eighth team foul by the Broncos, so Bartholomew will go to the line. So that's Kelson's. Sam Kelson's second personal foul. With 20.4 seconds to go in the second quarter. Lisbon's up 21 to 19. Lisbon at one time led this by a score of nine to one in the first quarter. That free throw rolls off, rebound by the Broncos. It's over to Kelson, gets it to Adair. Broncos playing for the last shot of the quarter. The last shot of the half. That foul there on the Inderland Eagles against Bittner. So Wendell applying the pressure on Bittner gets called for the foul. That's 15 foul on the Eagles. A ball from Kelson to Adair. Adair puts it up. No good. And at the end of the quarter. Lisbon leads this one by a score of 21 to 19. So going into the half, Lisbon with the two-point lead. We'll be back, go over some halftime stats, and talk about our annual GOAT game between the Lisbon Broncos and the Inderland Eagles. Stay up to date with the latest goings on in the region with the Coaches Show every Wednesday night on yourliveevent.com. Goes deep down the middle, has a man, Soka Porter. Soka Porter to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and taken down there. We'll dive into the latest stories from North Dakota and Minnesota. And there's the block by Reese. That's the Coaches Show with me, Joe Lancello, on yourliveevent.com every Wednesday night starting at 7. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm the project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Here it's way more hands-on. The college has better equipment than the shop I'm at now. Like you name it, they got it. You get to use your tools and your hands a lot more. My name is Sean and I'm here for my future. First week of college, I can't tell you how many friends I've made. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like every time I go to a meeting, like everyone knows my name, they're always kind to me. I love it, I can't tell, I can't explain how much I love you here. My name is Junior and I'm here for my future. Riverside Building Center in Lisbon, North Dakota is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. River Hey, welcome back to the Lisbon High School Gymnasium where the Lisbon Broncos lead this one on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of 29, 21 to 19. Bank North offers the traditional and advanced products and services that keep you grounded and ahead of the curve in today's fast-paced world. For farming and ranching, business and consumer banking and lending, you'll always be headed in the right direction with Bank North. To learn more about Bank North, visit ibanknorth.com or stop by one of their locations today. They're going over the scoring for the Enderlin Eagles. They're led 
by number 20, Carson Bartholomew with 13 points. And also with six points for the Indian Eagles is number three, Wall. Wall with six points, Bartholomew with 13. Leading all scorers is Carson Bartholomew in the game. For the Broncos, Jaden Bittner with two three-pointers in a basket. Leads the Broncos with eight points. Balanced scoring by the Broncos so far this game with Lincoln and Adair with four, Wyatt Webb with four, Sam Kelson putting three, and then Ethan Gilbert with two points. The Broncos boys basketball team right now struggling at the line. Inderland Eagles, Carson Bartholomew. Right now is, like he's four for six from the line for Carson Bartholomew for helping out with his 13 point uh, first half. And Trey Wall going 0 for 2 from the line for the Enderlin Eagles. So Liz been up in this one by a score of 21 to 19 in the annual GOAT game. I was talking a little bit about the GOAT game for the annual history. So the first GOAT game was in 1934. It was a basketball rivalry we started between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. So that was started actually by Enderlin. Enderlin came up with the uh, with the red knob, constructed it, and got the GOAT game going way back in 1934. And, that, and Enderlin so far has taken six games, the last six games, the last six red knob games between the Enderlin Broncos and the Lisbon or between the Enderlin Eagles and the Lisbon Broncos. Girls team, Lisbon uh, Broncos girls pulling out their victory tonight in the annual GOAT game, taking home Lisbon for the, the Bronco girls team. Red Knob. Right now, Lisbon has the edge here, two point lead, 21 to 19 to take home Red Knob for, uh, for the year and have the bragging rights between the two towns. So Lisbon's up by a score of 21 to 19. Just looking at the boys basketball, region one boys basketball. Well, Lisbon sits at 0-1, they're defeated by Barnes County North about 10 days ago by a score of 66 to 67. They'll play again tomorrow night, they play region three full, uh, the Lamore Lobos. Hey, Andrew will be is back on the court again tomorrow night, they play Sargent County. That one looks like that one's over in Sargent County. And then on 29 December, they'll play Warwick in Hatton Northwood on the 29th of December over Christmas vacation. And on 31st of December, they play Allendale. And then 3 through 6 of January, they're in Bar at the Barnes County Tournament. In Region 1 standing, Sargent County goes to 2-0 overall. And right now, the only uh, region game played is the uh, current contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. So winner of this game tonight will go up in the region contest or the region rankings. Lisbon looks to improve to one and one. Enderlin looking to put, pick up their first win of the first win of the season. Yeah, center cast right now at one and oh in the region or one and oh overall. Kindred 0 and one overall. Northern Castle 0 and one overall. Oak Grove 0 and one. Lisbon 0 and one and Tri-State 0 and one overall. You look at that, the North Dakota Class B boys basketball poll, Four Winds Minnewaukan. This is as of uh, tonight, 19 December. Four Winds Minnewaukan is the number one team with 17 first place votes. Followed by Center Cass, Bishop Ryan. That number four is Thompson, number five, Shiloh Christian, then Bowman County. The Grafton moves up a spot to number seven. Out of Region Two, North Border moves up a spot to number nine. Deslax Burlington in the rankings. Excuse me, North Border moves up to the number eight spot. Deslax Burlington, number nine. And North Star, North Star in the rankings for the first time of the season. They're at the 10th spot. Dropping out of the rankings was Kindred with that loss uh, two weeks ago or about 10 days ago. So Kindred dropping a game, they drop out of the rankings. And North Star moves up and takes that 10th spot. Now there's receiving bolts are uh, Hillsborough Central Valley, St. John, Sargent County, Dickinson Trinity, Kindred and Linton HMB. Linton HMB currently sitting at 2 0, along with St. John's and Sargent County. So Sargent County also receiving votes. And that'll be the Enderland Eagles, their opponent tomorrow night versus Sargent County. So the uh, Region 1 tournament, that'll get underway 
end of February, 28 February to 8 March, and then followed up by the state basketball, Class B basketball tournament, 16 to 18 March, out at Bismarck. Returning state champions on the Class B boys' side is Four Winds of Minnewak, and they currently hold down that number one spot. They won that state championship last year by a score of 69 to 49 over Kindred. They also put four players on the all-tournament team, and Jacoby Pearson, Jaden Yankton, and Ding Ding from Four Winds of Minnewak. And so they look to defend their state basketball crown, currently sitting at the number one spot on the uh, current North Dakota Class B boys' basketball poll. We'll get set up for our second half of play between the Lisbon Broncos and the Enderland Eagles. Lisbon leads this one by two, 21 to 19. We'll step away, transition into pay some more bills and come back for our second half. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly neighborhood team of qualified insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinter, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. The Lisbon Bronco Athletic Boosters is a group of parents, coaches, and community members whose mission is to enrich the Lisbon High School Athletic community by providing financial support for Lisbon High School Athletic programs and events. If you are interested in getting involved, they invite you to join the Bronco Athletic Booster Group on Facebook to learn more. The Lisbon Athletic Boosters send a good luck wish to all athletes competing today. Folks, it's tax season, and the best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. Welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. Lisbon leads this one by a score of 21 to 19. Built up that two point lead. One time Lisbon had an eight point lead, nine to one in that first quarter. Enderlin chipped away under the shooting of Carson Bartholomew, picking up 13 points for the Enderlin Eagles. Lisbon led by Jaden Bittner with two three pointers in a basket for Jaden Bittner. To start the second quarter, third, third quarter, second half of play, Broncos ball. Enderlin won that tip off in the first half. So that's Gilbert over to Webb. And down to Gilbert. Gilbert working against Bartholomew. Puts it on the floor. He's going to turn it over. Bounces off his leg. So Bartholomew giving him a little push off of Gilbert. Causes Gilbert to turn it over. The opening minute, opening 30 seconds of the second half. Now turned over by Wall. Bartholomew tried to get it to Wall. Adair comes up with it. Giving it to Bittner, now back to Adair. He gives it to Gilbert. Gilbert sitting up the pick. It said travel by Lincoln Adair. It takes an extra step. Kept those feet moving without putting the ball down before. Kept those feet moving before putting that ball down. Gets called with the travel, so turns it over. Well, that's Wall for the Eagles, bringing it down across midcourt. Gets over to Wendell. Now Wall from three, puts it up off the back of the rim. That's Wendell with the rebound, so Wendell working to the inside, gets the rebound, puts it up and in for two. Well, Wendell scoreless in the first half. Picks up two in the opening minute. 20 of this third quarter. That's over to Bittner. So Bittner puts it up in three and he drains it for Jaden Bittner. So Bittner now with 11 for the Broncos. And that's Wall working against Adair. You now kicks out to Bartholomew. Bartholomew off, rolls off White Webb with the rebound. Over to Bittner. Bittner bringing it down, passes it off to Adair. Now 
That's a Bittner from three. So Bittner heating up from the three-point line. So Bittner now with 14. Bartholomew rolls it off his foot. Pressure applied by Wyatt Webb. So Webb called with the foul. Either Webb or Kelson. So Sam Kelson called with the foul. That's Kelson's third personal first team foul of the half. Make sure we're keeping up with the score. Lisbon leads this one by a score on the Bank North scoreboard, 27 to 21. And Bittner with the steal, puts it up and in. Underneath the backboard, he's going to be fouled. He's fouled by Wall. So Bittner drove just a little bit too deep, puts it off the back underside of the backboard. He's fouled by Wall. Oh, we get it on Wendell. So it's his second personal, first team foul of the half for the Interland Eagles. Bittner's first free throw attempt is good. Now it's 15 in the game for Bittner. Bittner's second free throw is good, so Bittner now two for two from the free throw line. That steal there, looking to the inside for Bartholomew. Stolen by Bittner. Bittner to Webb to Adair. Adair plants his feet. That's blocked by Wendell. No scrambling on the forward as Wendell. Wendell with the hustle. He's going to tie it up. So possession goes to the Interland Eagles. 29 to 21, Bronco lead. Bartholomew will take it out for the Interland Eagles. Wall looking to Wendell now. Ammerman gets it to Wendell. Wendell drives driving nuts, batted away by Bittner. So 4.37 to go in the third quarter. Lisbon leads 29 to 21. One team foul apiece for Lisbon and Enderlin. That's into Ammerman. So Wendell gets it to Ammerman, feeds it to Ammerman. Ammerman puts it up, no good. Rebound by the Broncos to Dare. Fast break layup. He's fouled. So Dare is fouled. So he'll go to the line for two. This has been on the fast break. He's fouled by number 20, 24, Aiden Glarum. I believe that's Glarum's first, second team foul in the half for the Indolent Eagles. So Dare puts it up off the back of the rim. Dare's second shot, puts it up, rolls off. Rebound by Bartholomew. Dare 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Now Bartholomew, Bartholomew drives in, puts it up. Off the fingertips, no good. Adair on the rebound, nobody down court for the Broncos. Adair has to kick it down, Bartholomew down on the court. Lisbon had a little advantage there. That's put up by three for Bittner. So Bittner with three. So that's Bittner's fifth three-pointer of the game. Lisbon now with an 11-point lead. We got a timeout by the Enderlin Eagles. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30-second timeout. Integrity. At Bank North, we remain true to these values for generations. They shape the way we do business, work with customers, and support our communities. We've been here for more than a century, helping people grow farms and businesses, finance homes, and pursue their dreams. It's values-based banking, and it's all about working together to strengthen the common threads that bind us together. Bank North, always true. Welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium Region 1 Boys Basketball Contest between the Lisbon, e Lisbon Broncos and the Enderlin Eagles. Lisbon leads this one by score 32 to 21. Built up at an 11 point lead. 
Led by two at the half, building that lead to 11 points under those three-point baskets from Jaden Bittner. Bittner now with five three-pointers on the game. He leads all scorers. I have him right now with 18, excuse me, 19 points for Jaden Bittner. Sinking two from the free throw line and then another basket with five three-pointers. So that's 19 for Jaden Bittner. In the game right now, the highest scorer in early Eagles led by Carson Bartholomew with 13. Right now, I don't have Bartholomew. Have him scoreless in the second half. I might have missed one. But right now, I have him scoreless in the second half for Bartholomew. So 3.50 to go in the third quarter. So Lisbon finding the defense, able to shut down Bartholomew so far in the second half. That's kicked out to Ammerman. Yeah, Ammerman. Finds Brennan Bartholomew underneath, scoops it up and in. So Brennan Bartholomew for two points. And Brennan Bartholomew, two points for the Eagle. That's to Gilbert. Gilbert gives it to Bittner. Bittner puts it up from the three point line. He's a push off by Wall, but no foul called. A good physical play by Wall, breaking up that three-point attempt by Bittner. Now Wall drives in, kicks it out to Wendell. Wendell drives under the baseline and passes it out to Bartholomew, and he's fouled. So Wendell picks up the foul. So Sam Kelson with now with four fouls. Sam Kelson in foul trouble. He's going to have Bittner going in. So Jordan Bittner, the freshman going in for Kelson. That's cleared out to Bartholomew. Bartholomew thinks about it. White Webb with the defense playing a little pressure. Now into Ammerman. Bronco shut it down inside. Gilbert taps it out. The wall picks it up for the Eagles. Now to Ammerman from three points. That's off the front of the limb. Rebound by Jordan Bittner. Over to brother Jaden. Now 2.25 to go in the third quarter. Bittner drives in over to Dare Dare from three point. That's off the front of the rim. Bartholomew on the rebound. White Webb on back defense for the Broncos. Yo. Bartholomew pulls up for three. That's off the front of the rim. Ammerman with the rebound to Wall. Wall directing traffic. Gets Wendell to the top of the key. Just slowing things down, setting up the play. His, his Wall. The ball puts it in Bartholomew. He's fouled before the shot. So Wyatt Webb on the foul. So 32-23 lead for the Lisbon Broncos up by nine. It tapped out by Wyatt Webb, so another inbounds for the Eagles. So Wall with the in inbounds over to Bartholomew. And Glarum setting the pick behind Webb. Bartholomew steps back, puts it up off the front of the rim. Rebound by Wyatt Webb, hustling down court of the Broncos with Bittner and Adair. Up for the shot is Lincoln Adair high off the backboard. Adair got set up. Hustle, good hustle by Lincoln Adair for two points. Adair's first two points of the half. That's a three point. So Glarum with his first points of the game picks up a three. We have a timeout by the Lisbon Broncos. A 34-26 score. Yeah, Enderland slowly chipping out the way. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30-second timeout. Here, when your future lies ahead, we help set you on the right course. When your whole world is about to change, we help you prepare for your new life. When staying healthy means staying informed, we help you find answers. This is perseverance, understanding, connection. These are remarkable people 
doing remarkable things together. Wallach Johnson Insurance is your friendly. We're back back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. Broncos have an eight point lead. Lead this one on the Bank North scoreboard by a score of 34 to 26. Built up a lead to 11. Enderlin slowly chipping away. Right now, Carson Bartholomew for the Eagles had 13 points in the first half, held scoreless in the second. Jaden Bittner leading all scorers on the night with 19 points. That's over to Bittner from three, hand in the face. So he's fouled. He's fouled by Ammerman. The Eagles really keying in on Bittner now after draining those three pointers, applying the pressure. Making sure they stick a hand in the face, not giving him a free look. So Bittner, first free throw is good for Bittner. And Bittner now three for three from the free throw line. The second one is good. So Bittner now with 21 points. Going four for four. Third one is good. So. Bittner converts on the three. He's five for five from the free throw line. Good defense by Jordan. He's gonna, Jordan Bittner puts it off the leg of Wall. The turnover by the Enderland Eagles. So fifth under a minute to go in this third quarter. The clock's winding down. Bittner from the top of the key for three, that's off. Jordan Bittner letting it fly. Bartholomew bringing it down. He kicks it out to Wall. Wall from three point. That's no good. Kick back out. Hustling over for it is Bartholomew. That would be turnover. Goes out of bounds. Broncos ball. Bronco back to the 11 point lead off those three converted free throws from Jaden Bittner. Bittner gets it to Webb, now to Jordan Bittner. Back over to brother Jay, and then out back to Adair at the top. The wall applying more pressure over to Gilbert, now from Adair. Now to Jay, and they find him open. They will set a little screen over there for Bittner to get a shot at that three-pointer. Now it goes up against Bittner, Bittner airballs it. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Lisbon leads this one by a score of 37 to 26, building up that 11 point lead. Biggest lead of the game, or ties the biggest lead of the game for the Lisbon Broncos. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30 second timeout and bring you this last quarter of play. Insurance professionals celebrating over 40 years of service. As an experienced independent insurance agency, they have access to highly rated insurance companies and can shop around to find you an affordable solution for farm, crop, business, home, and auto insurance. Visit them at one of their locations in Lisbon, Gwinter, or Rutland and get a free quote started today. For more information, go to nd-insure.com. The Lisbon Public School District ensures that all students will learn, experience success, and be good citizens from elementary through high school. The school staff and community takes great pride in providing meaningful and innovative opportunities for our students who continue to maintain ACT scores above state and national averages. Watch your kids continue to grow within the Lisbon Public School District from the playing surface to the classroom. For more information, go online to lisbonpublicschools.com. Welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium where the Lisbon Broncos lead this one by a score of 37 to 26. This started the fourth quarter. Lisbon tying their biggest lead of the game, leading up by 11. Jaden Bittner leads all scorers now with 22 points. That's unofficial. Bittner now with 22 points. Kind of the story of the second half is that Lisbon's been able to shut down Carson Bartholomew. Bartholomew for the Eagles had 13 points in that first half of play. Lisbon able to shut him down. Anderlin trying to do the same thing with the Broncos on that Defensive side of the ball trying to shut down Bittner, but Bittner finding a way to score now has 22 points in the game. Bittner gives it to Gilbert, working against Armerman underneath, and Ethan Gilbert with a nice layup off the backboard for two points. Broncos' biggest lead of the game now to 13. Now 
Yeah, Ethan Gilbert now with four points in the game. Big six foot seven center for the Broncos. Given to Bartholomew. Bartholomew drive in. He can put the ball up high. He's gonna pick up the foul on Adair. Bartholomew knows he's got to get something going here for the Interland Eagles. Takes it back, drives in from behind the three-point line, picks up the foul, so you have two shots. That first shot by Bartholomew is good. I have him, that's his first point to the half. He now has 14 in the game. Second free throw attempt is good, so now 15 points for Bartholomew. Closes that score up now, 39 to 28, back to 11 point lead for the Broncos. It's 6.59 mark to go, fourth quarter. That's up Jordan Bittner at the top. He finds from behind the three point line. That's air balled out. Webb on the rebound, gets to Adair. Adair's going to drive in, puts it up, and he's fouled underneath for Adair. The Broncos aggressive to the basket, not afraid to put the ball down on the on the floor and then drive in, picks up a foul for Adair. So they have two from the free throw line, four team fouls now for the Interland Eagles. The first shot by Adair is off and no good, rolls off the front of the rim, hits the backboard and bounces off. So Adair now 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Second one is good, one for four for the night. Now a seven points for Lincoln Adair. Jordan Bittner with the defense, good hustle by Bittner. Working against Wall, that's over to Ammerman. Wall working back around, gets open out to Glaram. Glaram puts him up for three, so Glaram drains it from three. That's Glaram's second three-pointer of the half. Anderlin cuts that lead to nine. That's fed down to Gilbert. Gilbert looking for Jordan Bittner. Bittner finds it at the free throw line, puts it up and in his jump shot. That's no good. And knocked out by Ammerman over the wall. Anderlin a little slow to get back on offense. Carson Bartholomew takes it himself, drives it in from the near side, hits the baseline, puts it up and in. The bars. Bartholomew now with four points. They had a timeout by the Lisbon Broncos. Yeah, Enderlin now slowly chipping away at that lead, 40 to 33. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30 second timeout. I'm president and National Hockey League official for 21 years. Why officiate? Some officiate to help kids learn and respect the game. They enjoy watching kids develop in their sport and as people, and they enjoy it because it's fun. You can be an official. Call your local high school or the North Dakota High School Activities Association at 701-845-3953. A message from the North Dakota High School Activities Association and this radio station. This is Chris from RDK Enterprises, your local... Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School Gymnasium. The Broncos lead this one by a score of 40-33 to 33 on our Bank North scoreboard. Enderlin chipping away at that 11-point Bronco lead, now down to 7 for the Lisbon Broncos. Hey, Carson Bartholomew now starting to come alive in this fourth quarter of play. Picking up two free throws in the basket. Now has 17 points in the game. Had 13 in the first half. Jaden Bittner leads it for the Lisbon Broncos with 22 points. Got 5.50 to go in this third quarter or in this fourth quarter. And the inbound pass from Kelson. To Kelson for the Broncos has four fouls, four personal fouls. Each team with four team fouls in this fourth quarter. That's over to Webb. Now Webb gets it to Adair. Adair thinks about it, fakes it. Looking for an open Bronco. Gets it to Jaden Bittner. Bittner drives in. He's going to put it up. Hooks it back up and in for Jaden Bittner. Right now, Bittner able to do it from all over on the court behind the three-point three line, driving to the inside. It's put up by Bartholomew. Rebound by the Broncos. That's a foul. So that's a foul by Glarum on Bittner. That's his second personal 15 foul for the Interland Eagles. So inbounds for the Broncos. For the Eagles, 
And Carson Gruba coming in for the Enderlin Eagles. The Gruba a freshman. And Enderlin trying to get some fresh legs in there for the Enderlin Eagles. 5.02 to go in the fourth quarter. Lisbon leads by a score of 42 to 33. Built it back up to 11 points. Biggest lead of the, or excuse me, 13 point is the biggest lead of the game for the Broncos. And all back up to 11. That's into Gilbert. Gilbert has Webb. Kicks it out to Kelson. Kelson from three. That's off the rim. Bounces out no good. Rebound by Carson Gruba. Gruba throws it away. That's pleased up by Wendell. Oh, Wendell working against Bittner. And Bittner wins that battle over on the far side and over to Bartholomew. Bartholomew going to drive in, trying to do it himself, and he's going to get called for traveling. So Bartholomew just drug his foot a little bit, working on the inside against those Broncos, Ethan Gilbert and Wyatt Webb. He turns the ball over. Wendell with four points in the second half. Or excuse me, Bartholomew with four points in the second half. Good pressure applied by the Eagles. Turned over by the Broncos. Put up by a wall. Now scramble. Bittner gets it. He's going to break that press coming down court. Yeah, what? Wall aggressive against Bittner. You know, Wall takes it and go coast to coast. Now it stops, thinks about it, gets it out to Bartholomew. Bartholomew from three, rolls off, no good. Wall applying the pressure against Bittner. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. I believe that ball is just knocked out of bounds. Interland ball. So Bittner knocks it away. So sub coming back in, Carson Gruber goes out for the Enderlin Eagles. And glaring back in for Enderlin. That's to Carson Bartholomew. He's gonna be fouled on the inside. Looks like by Gilbert. So that's 15 foul of the game for the Broncos. Got into Ammerman, out to Glaren, Glaren from three, that's off the backboard. Bittner going up against Wall. Bittner able to break that press. No double team on Adair. Oh, feed it into Webb, Webb a little bit too hard off the backboard. White Webb coming through the back door. Bittner had him underneath. but no good by Webb. Turnover by the Broncos. So nine point lead for the Broncos, 3.30 to go. Turnover by the Eagles. And Bartholomew hammers Webb. He's going for the ball, puts Webb on the ground. So that is a sixth team foul by the Enderland Eagles. We got that as a third personal foul. Excuse me, second personal foul. A turnover by the Broncos. Yeah, at midcourt. We have 42-33 lead for Lisbon, up by nine. Biggest lead of the game has been 13 for Lisbon. And Trey Wall gets it over to Carson Bartholomew from three. That's shot short off the front of the rim. Adair gets it out to Bittner. Bittner driving in through the lane. He's going to be followed by Wendell. Anytime Bittner gets the ball, Enderlin Eagles just swarm all over Bittner. Worked so far without following, but now they follow Bittner. Bittner so far. Looks like he's perfect from the line. Five for five from the line. His next one is good. So another free throw for Bittner. Guess you got to choose your poison. Either let him shoot it or take him to the charity stripe. Now the second one's up and in. Now seven to seven for the free throw line for Jaden Bittner.
Yeah, Wall hands it off to Armerman. Armerman underneath puts it up. No good. He's fouled underneath. Looks like it's either against the Dare or Gilbert. So that goes up, goes up against Gilbert. His third personal, 16 foul for the Broncos. Yeah, 2:40 to go in the second, or in the second half, third or fourth quarter of play. The first shot by Ammerman is no good. Second shot is good, so Armerman finally on the board with the score in a free throw, has one point on the night. Yeah, Eagles applying pressure, that's cut over to Bittner to Kelson. Kelson kicks it back out to Adair. Adair looking for Kelson, that's Gilbert. Gilbert from just inside the three point line. Adair with the offensive rebound, gets it out over to Webb. Webb's gonna fake, puts it up, two points for Webb. So Webb with two points. This has been now up by a score of 44-33. Back to 11-point lead for the Broncos. That three-pointer put up. It's an air ball. Now loose ball on the ground. Picked up by Ammerman. See White Webb's first two points of the second half. Put up by Carson Bartholomew. With that timeout, we'll go ahead and step away for another 30-second timeout. Lisbon leads this one by a score of 46 to 36. The biggest lead of the game for the Broncos has been 13. So we'll step away for a 30-second timeout. It's what you can to overcome what you cannot. Farming is all about preparing your operation to be successful when given an opportunity. Invest a few minutes and bring in your seed meters to be reconditioned and calibrated. We have some room, so give us a call and we can help you overcome those simple obstacles. RDK Enterprises, 636-2119, 636-2119, or planterdoc.com. And we're back at the Lisbon High School Gymnasium, where Lisbon leads this one by 10 over the Enderlin Eagles, 46-36. to 36. Region 1 Boys Basketball, North Dakota Class B Boys Basketball in Lisbon, North Dakota. It's coming off a timeout by the Broncos. Anderlin has 17 fouls. Lisbon 16 fouls in the second half. Spencer Kelson, or excuse me, Sam Kelson for the Broncos right now has four, four personal fouls. In the inbounds, that goes to Jordan Bittner. Pressure by Wall. Bartholomew comes down with it. He's gonna put it up off the front of the rim, defended by Adair. Bartholomew looking again, kicks it out. Now back to Bartholomew from three on the corner. He picks up three for Carson Bartholomew. Yeah, another timeout by the Broncos. They lead this one by a score of 46 to 39, minute 32 to go in the fourth quarter. We'll go ahead and step away for another 30 second timeout. My roots run deep. I dream of a world where planting a seed can bring forth the food and knowledge our world needs right now. The field is my classroom, and I have the power to make a difference. I am going to feed the world someday. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship. Yeah, back here at Lisbon High School Gymnasium, Lisbon leads this one by a score of 46 to 39. And on that inbound, it's like Trey Wall follows Jordan Bittner, send him to the line. The eight team falls now for the Enderland Eagles. A minute 24 to go in the fourth quarter. Broncos with the seven point lead. Biggest lead of the game has been 13. Right now I have 
Jaden Bittner with 26 points in the game. Carson Bartholomew starting to heat up in this third quarter, held scoreless in the third quarter. So that free throw by Bittner is up and good. And second free throw attempt by Bittner is up and good again. So two free throws for Bittner. Puts him at 28 points for the game. Perfect from the line for Bittner. Now nine for nine. And Wall drives in, puts it up off the front of the rim. Now he's gonna save it. Ooh, goes off of Kelson. So Wall trying to save it from going out of bounds, puts it off of Kelson. Kelson down on the court trying to shake it off. A minute 13 to go in the fourth quarter. 48 to 39 lead now. That's to Bartholomew. Bartholomew puts it up and in. Looks like before the shot, they're charging. Looks like an offensive foul. Nope, that'll send Bartholomew to the line for two. So that's a 17 foul on the Broncos. Subs going in for Interland Eagles. Got Wendell going in for Brennan Bartholomew. Carson Gruba going in. Gruba going in for Glarum. That's off the rim. A rebound by the Eagles. A 48-41 lead for the Broncos, up by seven. Bartholomew is going to miss both of those free throws. Right now I have Bartholomew with 24 points on the game. Jaden Bittner with 26, that's unofficially in the game. 26 points for Bittner, 24 for Carson Bartholomew. Yeah, Dare from the line, that one's no good. Rebound by the Broncos. They're down to 55 seconds to go in the fourth quarter over to Bittner. And Bittner's going to feed it back underneath the web. Webb puts it up a little bit too hard. It's been the name of the game for Webb. A little frustrating for him. A little bit too hard off the backboard. And Gilbert comes in for two points. Lisbon leads this one now by score of 50 to 41. And Broncos with the turnover. Gets it back to Bittner. Kelson to Bittner. So Gilbert has six points. Almost six points in the game for Ethan Gilbert. A foul on Bittner, so Trey Wall with his fifth personal foul, he's out of the game. <laughs> Excuse me, four personal fouls for Trey Wall, I thought he was out. So 10 team fouls now for the Interland Eagles, under 25 seconds to go. Broncos lead this one by a score of 52 to 41. Bittner converts on both his free throws. Still perfect from the line is Jaden Bittner. Yeah, 12 seconds left in the game. So Jaden Bittner, the third personal foul, be the eighth team foul. So Enderlin going to the line. It's Brandon Bartholomew shooting. So as the store stands, Lisbon, it's like they'll take away Red Knob, breaking that six game winning streak by the Interland Eagles in this annual contest between the Lisbon Broncos and the Interland Eagles. Lisbon will pick up their first region victory and first win of the season though. Record goes to one and one. Bartholomew misses that second free throw. He has three points in the game now for Bartholomew. And Adair just going to run this one out. The Lisbon Broncos win this one by a score of 52 to 42. 
So that'll do it from the LHS Gymnasium as the Lisbon Broncos win this Region 1 Class B Boys Basketball Contest by a score of 52 to 42. We'll go ahead and break away for 30 seconds. Come back, talk about some game stats. We go over our uh, Enbridge and RDK Enterprises players of the game. Accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. Folks, it's tax season, and the best way to teach your kids about taxes is by eating 30% of their ice cream. And the best way to learn about your tax situation is contacting Olson Accounting. They'll answer any question you have from an individual or business point of view. Let Olson Accounting set up your tax plan and eliminate any problems by visiting colsoncpa.com or call 701-683-2700. Olson Accounting of Lisbon. From on-site farm repairs to maintaining the condition of your vehicle, trust the staff at Welton's Tire Service. They've served the Lisbon area since 1972, guaranteeing customer satisfaction and workmanship from farm equipment, tire services, and preventative vehicle maintenance. You'll find it all from affordable prices, free estimates, to their knowledgeable technicians answering any question. Welton's Tire Service is locally owned and located on Main Street in Lisbon. For information, go online to weltonstire.net or call 701-683-5136. Stay up to date with the latest goings on in the region with the Coaches Show every Wednesday night on yourliveevent.com. Deep down the middle has a man, Soka Porter. Soka Porter to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and taken down there. We'll dive into the latest stories from North Dakota and Minnesota. And there's the block by Reese. That's the Coaches Show with me, Joe Lancello, on yourliveevent.com every Wednesday night starting at 7. Abuse can affect anyone, and each person's experience is different. Abuse is about power and control, and it is not always black and blue. A loving relationship should not be threatening, accusing, isolating, or include violence of any kind. The Abuse Resource Network provides services to start living the life you deserve. For more information, visit abuseresourcenetwork.org. My name is Jared, born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a project director at Enbridge. Enbridge is more than a pipeline company. It's a company participating in renewable energy projects in Minnesota and abroad, and I'm really proud to be working here. We believe a cleaner energy future is achievable. For over 20 years, we've been early adopters of renewable energy, and we're proudly committed to net zero emissions by 2050. To hear more from Jared, visit Enbridge.com slash Jared. That's J-E-R-R-I-D. Here it's way more hands-on. The college has better equipment than the shop I'm at now. Like you name it, they got it. You get to use your tools and your hands a lot more. My name is Sean and I'm here for my future. First week of college, I can't tell you how many friends I've made. It's a family, you know what I mean? Like every time I go to a meeting, like everyone knows my name, they're always kind to me. I love it, I can't tell, I can't explain how much I love you here. My name is Junior and I'm here for my future. Hey, welcome back to Lisbon High School. The Lisbon Broncos are victorious tonight in this Region 1 Class B Boys Basketball Contest between the Broncos and the Indian and the Eagles. Broncos walk away with this one by a score of 52 to 42. Lisbon built up a lead in that first quarter by a score of 9 to 1. Interland Eagles come back, knocking that lead to 2 at halftime. Lisbon led that by a score of 21 to 19 at the half. Lisbon able to open up a 13 point lead, 13 point lead in, these, in the third quarter as their biggest lead of the game. Enderlin kept it close, just chipping away at that lead, got it down to seven, but before Lisbon was able to pull away again and get it up into the uh, double-digit lead. And that's what the final score goes to. Lisbon wins this one by a score of 52 to 42. Uh, victory for the Lisbon Broncos win this annual GOAT game contest between the Enderlin Eagles and the Broncos. So Red Knob going home with the Lisbon Broncos this year. Stapping that six game winning streak by the Enderlin Eagles. Looking at the scoring for the Lisbon Broncos, Leading all scored tonight is Jaden Bittner, unofficially scoring 29 points, going 11 of 11 from that free throw line, and also putting away five three-pointers for Jaden Bittner. Lincoln Adair for the Lisbon Broncos with seven points. Wyatt Webb for the Broncos with six, four in the first quarter, two in the second half. 
Sam Kelson put in a three-pointer in that first quarter, and he went quiet for the rest of the night, also playing some stiff defense for Sam Kelson. So he goes on the night with three points. And then Ethan Gilbert, the big man in the middle, comes away with six points on the night. And for the Enderlin Eagles, they're led by number 20, Carson Bartholomew. Bartholomew with 25 points on the night. Going six to nine from the uh, charity stripe. And then also with two three-pointers on the night for Carson Bartholomew. So Jaden Bittner leading all scorers with 29. Carson Bartholomew for the Enderlin Eagles with 25. Also for the Eagles, Ethan Wendell, or excuse me, Wendell, number zero for the Enderlin Eagles with two points. Trey Wall for Enderlin with six. Glarum with six. Ammerman with the free throw scoring one point. And then Brennan Bartholomew with a basket and a free throw putting in three for the Enderlin Eagles. And overall, the Lisbon Broncos from the free throw line. Looks like I had them, four, excuse me, 13, 12 of 16 from the free throw line for the Lisbon Broncos with Bittner going perfect, 11 for 11. And then with the Enderland Eagles, I had them going 9 of 13 unofficially from the free throw line tonight during, during uh, tonight's game. The leading scorers tonight for Lisbon Broncos, Jaden Bittner leading all scorers with 29 points. And then Carson Bartholomew lead for the Enderland Eagles, double digits with 25 points for the Eagles. So we'll go ahead and step away for a 30 second timeout and come back with our energy, Enbridge Energy Player of the Game and RD Enterprises Precision Player of the Game. North Dakota is Southeastern's North Dakota's premier building supply headquarters. They have it all from the basic home improvements to complete pre-built homes. Their staff is knowledgeable in every product they sell and have over 110 combined years of experience. With their large inventory to sell from and a fleet of six delivery vehicles, Riverside Building Center in Lisbon can bring the products to your job site. From a hammer all the way to a home, they have you covered. Visit rbclisbon.com today. Riverside Building Center in Hey, welcome back to the Lisbon Bronco Gymnasium. We're with our Ener Enbridge Energy Player of the Game. Tomorrow is happening right now. Now more than ever, the world needs safe, secure, sustainable, affordable sources of energy. Visit tomorrowison.com. Enbridge, life takes energy. So energy, Enbridge Energy Player of the Game goes out to Jaden Bittner for the Lisbon Broncos, knocking down 29 points, going with five three-pointers. Perfect from the free throw line, 11-11 from that free throw line for Jaden Bittner. So he walks away with our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game. Helping Lisbon seal the win tonight, picking up their first win in the re in the region and also on the year, going for an overall record of one and one. They win this one by a score of 52 to 42. Bittner on fire in that first half of play with two three pointers and then another basket and then picked it up with two more three pointers and then did most of his damage in that second half, other than the three pointers from that charity stripe and knocking down all those free throws in the second half. Going to our RDK Enterprises Precision Player of the Game. That's going out to Carson Bartholomew from the Enderlin Eagles. At RDK Enterprises in Hillsboro and Drayton, North Dakota, they thank you, the area girls, for your, for, for your trust in RDK Enterprises as your planner experts. RDK Enterprises continues to invest in the education of their team members to provide customer service you expect from your planner experts at RDK Enterprises. Always revisit the performance of your planners. Call 701-636-2119 or visit planner.com. So RDK Enterprises Precision, player of the game. Carson Bartholomew putting away 25 points for the Indian Eagles. He picked up 13 points in that first half of play, and then Lisbon was able to shut him down in that third quarter. Kept him scoreless in the third quarter, but he came through for the Indian Eagles in that fourth quarter. And scoring all of his second half points in that fourth quarter. Looks like he put up another, another 12 points for Carson Bartholomew in the second half, scoring all those in the fourth quarter of play. The Enderland Eagles just come up short under that effort by Carson Bartholomew. They lose this one by a score of 52 to 42. We'd just like to congratulate our, our Enbridge Energy Player of the Game, Jaden Bittner, with his 29 point performance, 11 11 from the line, and our RDK Enterprises Precision Player of the Game, Carson Bartholomew, with his 25 point performance, two three pointers, and go on six to nine from the charity stripe. So that'll conclude tonight's game. Lisbon wins this one by a score of 52 to 42. Lisbon's back in action tomorrow night against Lamore Litchville Marion here in the uh, LHS Gymnasium. Game time at 7.30. We should be back on here on your liveevent.com 
at about 7.15. So signing off here, this is sports announcer guy Brent Dick along with my camera person Adeline Hansen. We'd just like to thank you all for joining us tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow night.